Okay, let me get this correct and make sure. Okay, flow should be coming on any second. Hello, everyone. How are you? I hope everyone had a great. Oh, there she is! Okay, wait. So, can you guys hear me? I don't know if you can hear me. Can you guys hear me? Um, hi, everyone. Thank you for joining. Oh, it's working. Can you hear me? I can hear you. Okay, awesome. How are you? Good, boo boo. How are you? Good. Welcome to Medium Rare with Lisa. Thank you so much for taking time out on a Sunday night. Oh, you're welcome. Having some oh. fun. No problem, sweet thing. No problem. <laughs> How are you? I'm good. How was your holiday weekend? It was good. Um, I, I don't really uh, do holidays like that. I just, you know, I'll like make dinner or whatever, but I'm not really a holiday kind of person. Really? Can you do a favor? Tell me if you can hear me better with the microphone. Did you? Did that sound better or no? Or do you, or does, you can't tell the difference. I can't tell the difference. I put the ear Okay, no, hold on, hold on, hold on. Let me take it off. Okay, hello? Can you hear me? Yep, okay. Do you want me to take this off? No, no. It's okay. It's okay. All right. You and can. It's, uh, you know, but anyway, you can hear me fine, right? Hi, everybody. I Welcome can hear you. Everyone. Hello, Welcome. everyone. Welcome. Um, Thanks for joining. Jimmy, me. I'm not frozen, so I don't know. My cousin's texting me. It's like, don't text while I'm doing the live. <laughs> my sister likes to do that when I'm doing lives. Like, uh, yeah. Okay. Um, so I think we have enough people. So for people who don't know who you are, can you give them, hi, DQ, how are you? Oh, there's Debbie. Um, can you give people a little backstory on, you know, who you are and how you got your gift? Okay. Okay, guys. Hi, welcome. Thank you for joining us today. Um, so before a little bit about me, my name is Flo. Uh, I was, I originally started like, as a reality TV star, and I did like reality TV, some music, some acting, and stuff like that. And then um, I went into the industry, and when I got out of it, um, it led me to to some dark times and stuff like that, which we'll go back further into a little bit later. But um, it's what ultimately led me to my spiritual psychic gifts that I I knew I had, but it wasn't using them. So I started to, you know, like I said, I did TV, reality TV. Um, my name is Flo. I right now I have uh, I do my own I do mediumship oracle readings mostly channeling though that's where I'm at like right now channeling I used to do like just tarot cards and stuff like that but and today I'm here just, just like enlightening and awakening the collective up for their I want to enlighten people to let them know that they are also gifted that's what that's where I'm at. and I think a lot of people are gifted and I don't think they realize that. And right. I mean, everybody's got to know that you have a gut and that gut feeling is your intuition, which basically if you start owning in on that, more things will happen. Um, right. I, and and I just think so you know, I keep it all the way real. So uh, when I'm doing readings, especially when I'm, especially when I'm channeling a lot of times, a lot of people don't like it, but I smoke cigarettes or I just, I curse. I'm, I'm very, I'm not like, hi guys. Sounds, like my, yeah, no, I yeah. think that's great. <clears throat> And I, I think want like, it any other way. I want people yeah. to be on this live and I want them to be comfortable and do them and be right, right, I don't right. want anybody to be different. So I when you first yeah. started like hearing spirit, like what does that sound like? Like what were you like thinking you were losing your mind or? Um, okay, so when, when people think you hear spirit, they think that you're like, okay, don't get me wrong. I kind of sometimes can hear them like out loud, like they'll say something like, hey, or what are you doing? Or my name, like we spoke about the other night. Um, uh, right before this live, <laughs> I'll just tell you, uh, right before this live, um, because um, the more people you awaken to their gifts and stuff, the more you would say like the dark gets angry at it. So they don't want you to like awaken people. So I, you know, before this live, somebody tried to like, when I say deafen my left ear, I mean deafen, like my left ear went and it just shut down. I was like, clear it, clear it. And I had to keep clearing it for it to get away from me. You understand what I'm saying? Right. So especially because they, they know there's a lot of people coming to this live. They know that a lot of them are going to want readings and there's 
their family members could be waiting in line, like, please, I hope, you know, it's me, it's me, and they're connecting together. And what, what it sounds like to me is, so if they're saying a name, it'll be in my, like, my in my head, do you understand? So it's like, almost like you'll hear, like, John, or Mike, and it's like, or, and I'll have to, like, guess the rest of the word, but most of the time, it's guessing, it's a guessing game for me, but I, I listen and I tune in, but it's not like a voice, you see what I'm saying? I've never let it be that way because I didn't want to feel like I'm going crazy. So I made it with spirit. Like where I was like, if you want me to be a messenger for the spirit world, I need respect in these ways. Don't speak in my face. Don't show up in my bed. Don't come up to me at night. It's you have to draw boundaries and rules. If you want to do this kind of work, you have to be very good with boundaries because if not, you will be drained, tired, and your life will be shit. I'm telling you. Do they, so do you feel like what do you feel like though like okay. when they're so if you want me to explain it completely i'll explain it all in one so for instance i get into a reading right before i'm about to do the reading um which is why i tell clients if you're gonna book a reading with me just be prepared to wait because spirit will be like okay today <clears throat> and i can't i'm not at a point in booking uh healer because it, when it's time, that's when my guys will be like, now, you know what I mean? And and another thing is a lot of people that, and I'm not bashing anybody else, but a lot of people that have book appointments is because they go into it knowing they could just say things that they read off of you and they'll be fine. And I could do that too. Or I could be authentic and be like, your guides are telling me to wait. They're saying not yet because of this, because of that. And so it'll be a feeling, a sensation, a thoughts. I'll, before the reading is, is that day, uh, spirit will start talking to me already. They'll start saying things, but I've already learned those boundaries. So now, because in the beginning it was, they kept talking and talking and talking until I get to the reading and they're still talking. And now I'm more like, wait, just wait until the person gets here and we'll do it. But it's a feeling, it's a sensation. It's um, it's an energy that I can I, you can't explain unless you're doing it. But I'm sure many of you can because you've probably spoken to someone and, and never understood how am I doing this right now? How am I giving this advice? You know what I'm saying to you? It's it's a matter of feelings and energy. You know what I'm saying? Has having this gift ever scared you? Mm -hmm. I'll tell you something. When I first started, the first time. I ever picked up a pack of tarot cards first time on YouTube you can see the video if you go all the way back to when you first see me doing tarot something smacked me in the hand and when I went like this, ah, I screamed and everyone was on the live and I had a hand mark like on my hand like this and it was all red and because for so long that I was kept in the darkness with my addictions and my issues and my depression and anxiety and ADHD and this is why I do what I do because I want people to know you're not depressed. You don't have anxiety. You don't have ADHD. You're just really good at connecting to spirit. You don't know how to handle it yet. And the day you figure that out, they get really upset. Why? Because you're about to change the world in, in a lot of ways. And what they want is people to stay in the darkness, to remain in the in the negative, to remain in the sad, to think that they're sick. And they're not sick. They're just gifted, which is why I'm creating a documentary called You're Not Sick, You're Gifted. Because oh, I uh, like that. Yeah, because... Um, I want people to know, like, I was on every medication. I was on every drug. I was just trying to numb this, what is this feeling out? And people around me would be like, oh, you're just, you know, you're, you need to sleep more. Or they'd give me the dumbest advice ever. And nobody would have, and then I started to get connected to people people that drew that like people say i'm connected to you and it's because spirit brought you to me because they know that you were experiencing the same thing as me we are connected to who we are right whether whether it's the past us the future us or the present us so that's in relationships friendships and guidance who you are is who you connect to so if you i, I always tell people if you're looking at me i mean it's because you're going through the same shit that i went through and now you're about to get to where I'm at right now, which is I'm still not perfect. I still work on myself every day. However, I have a lot of self-control today with many things. There are still things I want to work on too, quitting smoking and doing this and doing that. And those are things I tell my guides, I'm working on it. You just have to give me my time. Like I can't, I, I know I'm going off a little, but I got to say this before I forget. Flo, I told you, you spirit. I told you okay. you were, you can go okay. and talk. Yeah. That's what Cause I told about. you spirit will come and, in and just start talking a little bit. That's, yep. Go. So I want to give you guys a message for whoever's watching here. I, I'm hearing from, from the guides that, um, okay. So you have some, um, 
a lot of you have a lot of uh, family members around you or friends or somebody who's not, they don't, they don't accept you for who you are. I'm hearing you're very black sheep outcast, you know, and that's the, that's the, the real way, you know, you're a light worker or a star seed or a healer is when you're the outcast of your family. Like everybody, everybody's like, okay, crazy. You know what I'm saying? Like you're talking about spiritual stuff and all that. And your family's like, like today I heard a comment. I said, we got to reduce our car and footprint we're drinking too many bottled waters in this house and someone said to me if it was bad for you they wouldn't be selling it and I think, think about that comment you have to understand something that's that's the comments we hear all the time but we can't I don't judge them because I understand that they have not had the opportunity to connect with spirit the way that I have and so spirit could be two things it could be real dark and scary or you could make it real beautiful and enlightening and I've had both perspectives and let me tell you I enjoy the light much better. Oh, I can. Now, can, when you get a reading, can spirit mislead you on a reading? Like when someone. Uh, they, they can. They so can like mislead living, people. So if, they can. If, if you, like, I remember when I lived in LA. So, a little backstory, really quick, for those of you who don't know, I started Medium Rare with Lisa because I, besides wanting to be a successful TV host, um, yeah. I wanted a platform where mediums and psychics could come and talk and we can learn. Because when I lived in LA, um, That's awesome. There was a place called the Psychic Eye, and I was there way too much. There was a very well-known actor that we already talked about who asked me out, and oh my never God, ah. and that's fine. It's not a big deal. But I had psychics telling me you're gonna marry him. Well, deep down, I knew I wasn't gonna marry this man, <laughs> but that's how I knew. Like God, there's just like really crazy people, and I remember I went in once. And I met this lady, um, oh my God, why am I forgetting her name? Anyway, she passed away, but she, when I went in there, she was like, I never wanna see you in here again. She gave me a reading, she didn't charge me. She told me I would get the dream to go to New York. She told, she just kind of like a lot of the stuff that she said, she described a guy that I would date, I did, mm -hmm. that didn't work out, thank God. Anyways, um, but I noticed that a lot of the readings, like. They say all this stuff and nothing happens. So are they saying that because the reader's bad? Are they saying that like, you know, because spirit doesn't want you to know something? Like I had one friend that was madly in love with this guy. Spirit was like, no, no, no. You're not going to be with them. You're not going to be with them. I'm like, stop getting readings and just take care, control of your own life, you know, whatever. Mm -hmm. And mm -hmm. um, six months later, they ran into each other again. And are, we are we frozen? Are we frozen? So are we frozen? I, I don't see nobody moving or talking. So I just want to see can somebody moving on my end. Oh, okay. They're not moving on my end. Okay. At okay. all. I'm I'm like long, I'm, are you guys are we frozen? Can you hear us? Can you see us? No, it? it's just my end. They're not moving. Okay. Um, which is okay because you're gonna read them. Go ahead. I'm sorry. Um so, so I my thing was is can a medium or psychic like if they if they're tuning in and let's say you are going to marry this guy they all told her she would never be with this man again she was not going to marry him this is not and guess who she's with so i guess that's my okay misleads you so so lisa when we spoke on the phone what did i say to you i don't do love readings for a reason because they are to me the fakest most false readings you can get from a psychic and i'm going to tell you why because throughout our lives we change how we feel who we are we heal throughout it. We don't heal. We go back to toxicity. We leave toxicity. And nobody can predict or tell you who you're going to marry, be with, or whatever it is, only for this reason. Because everything is supposed to be a surprise. I'm getting hit in the right side of my head right I now because that's my guy's, still, so that's my guy's that. confirmation telling me, tell these people. Because a lot of people are out here yep. watching readers for love purposes. And I'm going to tell you what happens with that. They're keeping you stuck in a loop and you're going to continue in that loop and you're going to stay in that toxic energy. And every reader that keeps talking about your ex, past life lovers, all of the shit, is killing you it's ruining and destroying Great. your life i'm Absolutely. gonna tell you right now if you watch a reader if you watch me only what i will i ever say this oh you're gonna meet somebody i never say who he is what he's gonna look like how tall is he because that's bullshit. what like first of all don't get me wrong they might be able to to tune into that but you cannot predict anything because tomorrow lisa you might be with this person you might just say tomorrow I don't feel like doing this anymore. And so nobody can predict those things for you. Do you understand me? Yep. So, oh, so I'm going to, it's a very toxic cycle that we are seeing. And I've talked about this on YouTube. 
There are so many readers that are just destroying people because these people are spending all their money, their time, and their energy watching and reading about people, your ex. And see, that to me is very toxic. If you have to watch readers or you have to ask, should I be with this person? Then the answer is no. no. Because, oh. because like the Buddha says, when you meet somebody, well, a Buddhist monk said this, when you meet somebody, you're not going to get butterflies in your stomach. You're not going to be nervous. You will be calm and you will be sure of it. You know, those people, when they meet, they go, I knew when I met them, I would be with them forever. I had no questions. They always say that, right? Because that's how it goes. So do yourself a favor. And if you're going to watch readers or anything, do it for a purpose of healing you, not to see what John Jacob Jingleheimer Smith is doing. Think about you. What do you want? What is your soul craving? What's your purpose? Why are you here? What are you here for? Because love, baby, that's going to come. It's going to go. It's in and out of your life. People make love, love such an important uh, a thing in, in this lifetime. And it is important. It's important to love and to be loved. But it is not important to surround your whole life by thinking if you don't fall in love or you don't marry someone, that you are worthless and you are unworthy. Because there are plenty of people in the world that are by themselves and are not lonely. FYI. Okay? Oh, I mean, you so, have to learn to love yourself. And that took me a long time to, and you have to learn. You have to be alone to do yep. that because you're not going to learn by dating, going on really. I had to take about three years to myself, and that's a long time, right? And I'm talking no sex, no dating, no nothing. And people are like, three I have years, bitch. <laughs> yeah. And you know, and you know what? Listen, and, I, and I'm and i 100% for it because now I know the next person that comes into my life, I'll be like, you know, I took time to heal. Like if there's something that's unhealed of me, then maybe I need to go see a therapist or something. But I feel like right now, if I jumped into love with someone, I wouldn't know how to respond, how to react, how to treat them, how to be loyal and all that stuff. But as opposed to when I was in my toxic energy, going back and forth, you know what I mean? Well, yeah, I think that another reason that I've been single for for so long and I had to learn to love myself is so I could really focus on me and understand that when you focus on yourself and your goals and your <laughs> dreams shit just starts flowing to you um, and yeah. you know I, yeah I want to get married I want to have you know kids will that happen I hope so it may not but that's okay because I'm okay being alone yes it, 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 will, be but it will it will it will it, it will it's gonna it happen would be, okay and okay well, well, I'm tell you a re another reason why I'm saying that is because um, especially people who are go-getters, women especially who are entrepreneurs, go-getters, they want to create something other than a marriage. If we don't create that something before we end up getting married, we will end up in resentment for that person. So yeah. we'll marry them and be like, I didn't even get, unless you get a person who's so supportive and is like, baby, what do you need? Like they, not only do they finance your options or they're there for you support for you mentally, spiritually, and emotionally, that's a different story. But most of the time you and I know damn right when you meet somebody, they want you to be wifey and that's that. They don't want you out here being a, a, a successful creative businesswoman they want you to be at home doing what you need to do as a mother as a wife and I don't blame them for that at all I really don't because I'm very well, no because the way that we were raised like my aunt mm -hmm. like she would always tell us like your eggs are drying up and you know I was the only one in the family that like, today you can make babies in a lab you know it doesn't matter anymore I know it's true. Like I packed my bags and I moved to LA and then I moved here. Like all my, my sister, my cousins, everybody has kids and their yep. kids are having kids now and they're married. And it's like, Oh my God. I know Debbie's my cousin. She's laughing because it's the truth. Aunt yep. Connie used to always say, make sure yeah, in peace, but, um, Oh my God. That's all we heard. Well, you know, like I said, that's just the way we were raised. But like I said, I'm still also very traditional and old school. And I do believe that the woman should play the woman role and the man should play the man role. Only I agree. No. When I, when I, I, when I want to play the man role, I'll come here on earth as a man and I'll do that. And I've already done that. I've been a man several times and pr plenty of lifetimes. And I came in this one to be a submissive woman. And that's what I'm going to do. And if anybody wants to look at it like that, you don't got to be submissive. Then you need to heal something because that's your ego talking because you don't want to play the whole if you're going to be in charge of everything, you're just going to make the relationship harder. I don't want to be in charge of everything. I would like somebody to be in charge and me have to just sit back and go, good job, because I'm tired, bitch. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> no, I, I like to do, like, the wife stuff. Like, that's why I'm such a good cooker and baker. Like, the other yeah. day, you were like, what are you no. baking? I was like, oh, look, you know, I made, a, mom is fun. I know, I made mom. a homemade caramel cake from scratch and homemade brownies from scratch. Like, I'm yeah, always awesome. cooking and baking. I'm always making banana bread for work. Like, it's just what I do. You know, That's I, what's I, I like that. I just, like that. It's, it's just too Also, I, I am bisexual as well. So, like, I don't know if I'm bisexual or if, if you would call it, like, somebody who just doesn't see gender. 
Uh, so when I date women, I play the masculine role. So she has to be the cook and the clean, and the, even though I'll still do the cleaning and cooking, you know? Um, and you guys, so, yeah. there are so many comments in here right now. I can't, it, it, there's like 70, 80 people on in this live right now. So I, you can I, slow I, the comments down if you can. I don't know how you do it on your end, but I know that when I'm live, sometimes if you want to slow the comments down, I believe you can do it. That I don't way. want like people to be like, oh my God, I know on my Lisa Eats page, the recipes will go up this week. Um, oh my God, there's so much more like my head is like, oh my God. Um, let's talk about astral projection. Yes, I'm clearing your energy and grounding you Thank really you. quick. Um, because yeah. I've had some crazy dreams where, like, I wake up and I'm like, okay, am I dead? I'm not kidding. Like, where, what am I here? What, like. All right, right let's do something. Let's do something. This is, this is always fun. <laughs> okay. Ready, ladies and gentlemen, whoever's here? Let's find out if you are number one psychic. The confirmation. Number oh, two. Oh, this the palm thing. Mm, number oh. two, if you are an astral projector and you came here and you you've been doing this for multiple lifetimes, and number three, if you are a healer, because if you are a healer, you essentially are all those things. But let's find out <clears throat> if you're a psychic first, okay? So I usually like to look at my own left palm. I like to look at my left palm, but you can do whatever palm is your. Dominant hand, so right, right palm. Let's do right palm. What if you're a left-handed? Well, I'm right-handed. Right so okay, so then take your left hand. Okay. So those of you who are left-handed, let's look at your left palm. Those of you who are right-handed, let's look at your right palm. Okay. All right, I'm gonna actually draw it on here for you. Okay, in the middle of my hand here, I'll show you. I have this big. I wish X. like she was with me okay. right now, because when I used to do this show, it's we okay. Did look. Look at everybody in your hand. Do you have an X right there, exactly where my hand is? You see the middle of my palm? In between those two lines, is there an X mark? You can see it if it's not I have absolutely an X over clear. Over here. It doesn't, it's in, it just needs to be a very clear X like this in the middle of your palm. My, why don't, oh man, my, my comments aren't moving. There. I can't see anything. That's, that's exactly where it is. It doesn't matter. It's there, it's there, the middle of your palm. As long as it's in between these two in the areas of here through here. Okay. 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 If you have that X, how many people are saying they have it in their live? Because I can't read anything. This was really, yeah, there's I, a lot I of don't people like that. that are saying yes. And if you guys want to send like photos and tag us, we'll share them. Hold on. Hold on. Don't, don't go nowhere. Hold on. What? What? Where's she going? <laughs> okay. Don't go anywhere. Okay. Wait. Okay, there we go. There we go. We're back because um, I, I have my Wi-Fi off. Okay, so oh. those of you who have the X here. Yeah. Okay, that is the psychic mark. Okay, you, that means you are, have been and will always be no matter where you go, where you come from, how many times you get there, you're going to be a psychic and you are a psychic and you've been a psychic now. Yeah, because my, my grandmother and my cousin Debbie, who's on, are very psychic. Okay. But I never met my now, grandmother. Anyways. It's okay. It's it's okay, I'm listening. Debbie, okay, you better now. have an X and you better like mark it and you better screenshot it. Okay, me. ladies and gentlemen, on top of your X, if you have this right here, a triangle, it looks like a little teepee. It could be a closed one or it could be an open one. It's a I triangle above, under, it usually is under your ring finger. Yeah, I have, time, I have a lot of X's on my hand too. They're, they're, they're all, okay, yeah. So. I don't think I have that. Let me see, let me see your hand. <laughs> Bring it to me. Slow down. Go slow. Well, you do right there. I see it. You do right there, right by that red dot. It's not. It's not very clear, but it's 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 pretty. Actually, if you don't see it, okay. All right. So if you have the triangle, now here's where the, the guess the tricky part. If you don't have the triangle, um, if you have the triangle, but it's not a triangle. It could be just two lines like this, like a teepee. You understand? Like a one oh, and I two. Oh, I have. Okay. Yeah, I <clears> okay. Have another X up there. Okay. Okay. Here we go. That's what it looks like, an X. Okay, somebody said, holy shit. All right, ready? Let me just, let me tell you guys. So if you have the X and then you have this triangle, now the trick is if this triangle is open, it's not closed on the bottom. So it's just like this. If it's just like that, just like a backwards V, if you have that without the closure on the bottom, that means that you, without the closure, it means that you are open and free to using your psychic gifts and you have no problems using it. If it is closed, okay, if it is clearly closed, the line is closed. Mine is open because this line is just automatically there, so that's not for that. Mine is open, but um, if it's closed, 
that means that you're terrified to use your psychic gifts because you've been persecuted, killed. Uh, you can look at like the beauty marks. If you have one on your neck, for instance, or you have one on the back of your neck or, you know, your arms and stuff, you might've gotten your, your hand cut off, like at this point, or, you know, you might've gotten your neck cut off. If you have one here, you know what I'm saying? Or something like that. Like you have beauty marks in your neck. Usually they say like, I have one right there, like here. So they usually say like beauty marks represent like, um, uh, your things you went through in a past life, right? right? See what I'm saying? Okay, so I'm telling you, if you're if you have this X, you're automatically a psychic. This is a psychic mark. You can get past it. And then if you have that triangle that's open, that's open, you're just screwed. You're really <laughs> screwed. If you have that triangle that's open, that means you are free to use your gifts. You're not afraid of them. But if it's closed, I'm telling you, you've been persecuted and killed in the past life, which is why you really are terrified of using your gifts. You will not go near them. And that's a lot of people. Because remember, a lot of us were around the times of Salem and, and the persecution days where they were calling us wizards and witch, witches and they were torturing us. <laughs> I'm seeing people being, oh, thank you, Spirit. I just got a vision. If you, my heart chakra. Ooh, Lord, my heart chakra. Okay, let's clear it. Um, if you were, I just about to say, if you were thrown in the water in the past life. I was so um, If you're, Okay, I, you told me that, I remember. If you're scared of water or heights, which I'm terrified of heights terrified and water. Of heights. <laughs> I'm terrified of heights and I don't like big bodies of water. It's because, first of all, we died in a big body of water. If you've had dreams of hurricanes, tsunamis, tornadoes, that was your past life. You died in a past life like that. But spirit will show you, like, you'll be like, but yeah, but in the dream I was in New York City and I saw the Statue of Liberty. Yes, because that's what you're familiar with right now. But remember, New York City, the Statue of Liberty weren't always what it was. I'm getting oh, my God. So I, I did a video. So one of the guys I worked at showed me this video. Mm -hmm. So Manhattan was like a swamp. No wonder it floods the way it floods. Like, mm -hmm. it's freaky. It was like swamp. Can you I tell you a secret? We Can I tell you a secret? In New Jersey, where my brother lives, I go there, right? So Atlantis wasn't far from New York and New Jersey. You know that, right? Like, that's where the real Atlantis was. So people think it was like, you know and the, well, it's it was near close to there. Where my brother lives, you know what the street's names are? Atlantis Avenue and Serpent Avenue. Uh, wow. You know, uh, wow. They're all like these ancient names, like Serpent, Atlantis. All of them are those names, which I find very interesting, first of all, okay? So, and another thing, okay, let's get back to it because, you know, Spirit be jumping back and forth. Both of us, we're, we're like this, so, but yeah. I love that about you because you're like me. Okay, so you have the X, you're automatically a psychic. If yours is open, then you are ready to use your gifts and you should start using them. Don't waste any time. If it's closed, you have to work on the fears that you have along with your psychic abilities, which is something I had to work with because I thought automatically once I become a psychic, a medium and a, and a healer and an oracle, oh my God, demons are going to attack me. They did, but it wasn't as bad as it was supposed to, like I thought it was bad. I'm not gonna lie, in the beginning it was bad. I can't I can't pretend that it wasn't scary as shit in the beginning. I literally almost threw myself out a window one day when I saw I was just like, ah, you know, I don't wanna scare nobody, but you might you might um Hi. the truth. The truth. You see that shit? You you saw how that fell right when I said that? And but the truth is that the truth is it's it is scary, right? But also I'm gonna tell you another thing. Um you have to get past those fears because you have to show them I'm not afraid I'm going to use my gifts with or without these are ancient slave driver energies do you understand me right okay now let's look if you're a healer and an astral traveler so I just told you if you're a psychic uh, if you're able to use them we're going to look at if you're a healer and an astral traveler okay now let's do this if you have these ah that tickles <laughs> if you have these lines like this if you have a bunch of these lines under your pinky like so oh my God, just, for, just up and down okay you're a healer, baby. That's what you are. You a healer. You've been a healer. You'll always be a healer. Why can't you will continue can I give to be a healer. And when I say heal, because you're not focused on it, and yes, you can, because I got in a car accident and healed everything in my body, okay? I used to take Percocet like crazy. I don't take shit no more, not even Advil, okay? Don't re okay. You see? That means you're a nurse. You're a nurse? Why did I just say that? What? That means you're a nurse. That was so weird. That means you're a nurse. Maybe I just in a that, past like, life, I was a nurse. Randomly, that just came out of my mouth. Is anybody a nurse here? Because that just came out, like, right out of my mouth. Like, word bomb. What the fuck? Okay. So, <laughs> that was so weird. So, okay. So, I'm going to tell you guys, if you have that, okay? Mm -hmm. Well, Debbie, I don't understand that I've lost the lines, but your other thing was closed. That doesn't make sense. Anyways, go on. Okay, so let me tell you. So you have, if you have lots of lines, I'm a nurse and I have so many lines. Okay, but okay. So when we say healer, let me just tell you. 
shamans are healers, nurses are healers, doctors are healers, um, nurses aides are healers, uh, teachers can be healers, right? Musicians can be healers. Now, when I say you're a healer, it means that if you write music, you're gonna heal through it. If you write poetry, it'll heal people. If you write a book, you'll be able to heal people. If you do plant medicine, you can heal people. It Me, when someone's sick, I can put my hands over them and no joke, I've had people throw up like the exorcist and the next day wake up saying, I felt, I feel incredible. So I'm really good at like sending healing energy and waking people up like that. Like that's shaman energy right there. Okay. All right. <clears throat> so it's okay. If you have no triangle, that just means you're psychic. You have no issues with the blockages. Okay. Okay. So you know, now know if you're a healer, if you're a psychic, if it's open or not. Now let's see if you're astral projector. Okay, so I have a billion of these. <laughs> a trillion, gazillion, bazillion of them. Do a whole, like, whole I don't know. show just on that. <laughs> right here, exactly. Now, if you have oh, yeah, those lines on I your I have stuff. a lot of those. Okay. I'm just letting people see. Okay, so if you have those lines, I have them on both hands so many it's like weird it's so well i'm not weird now because no, it's also to travel weird every day. for me is i have on this hand if they go up and down and on mm -hmm. this hand they go this way well so that's just the, the so so like i said this is the opposite Here. of the hand like usually uh psychics will read your dominant hand but your lines do change throughout this lifetime because that triangle that I had was once closed and now it's opened, okay? So when I had that triangle when I first saw it, it was completely closed. Now it's open, okay? All right, so there we go. So let me just clearly, really quickly, <clears throat> give you guys this message. First of all, so if you have all of these lines on your hand, and there's much more, there's the Jupiter line, the Saturn line, but, you know, who's going to do it? We're not doing all that today. But, um, if you have all of these, these are the most important ones, okay? So if you have all these that are the most important ones because it will tell you your purpose, right? right? Your purpose. And when people say, what's my purpose? You, you, the problem is we're trying to figure out exactly what our purpose is. Like, what is the exact purpose of my life? What if your purpose is a healer in whatever form you are? What if your purpose is to help yourself in this lifetime? What if your purpose is just to learn to love you in this lifetime? You don't always come to the earth to help others. You know that, right? You have to come here for many reasons. The, re the way you'll know that is whatever the thing that bothers you the most, that's the thing you came here to heal. So if you are really annoyed by the relationships you've had, over and over and over again then you came here to heal love situations okay and once you heal that then you come back another lifetime you could be a service to humanity but right now you got to be of service to you do you understand it's not always about other people another thing we have been programmed to believe that humans need to help everyone else and their mother but not us so now i spirit really has me with this message you have to start to learn to help i don't yourself know how to now. block people just click Click on their name and it'll say block on the side of it. Okay, hold on. Okay. Block. Yeah. And, I, I wanna t the yeah. next time you and I go live, we're going to get a moderator. Yeah, and another thing I'm going to tell you guys is um, tr just remember when people talk negative, the best thing to do is ignore them because when we give them light, they start to get like excited about it because that's what they want, right? They want attention. So I have to send them love and light because, you know, unhealed yeah, people, Robin, hurtful people. Yeah, Robin, that was a, not a nice person, so I blocked her. Are That's we okay. not? I'm, no, I'm sorry. Not we Robin will. Robin. We will, uh, Eric. We will. Don't worry. Okay. So let's get to the next questions. Okay. So everybody. Okay. You, Debbie said she'll moderate. Hit, hit up Deb, Debbie. Debbie. Right okay. There. Hold on. Put her as a moderator. moderator. Hold on. And then she could block whoever starts talking shit like they got well, shit up their ass. By the way, before this live started, I won fifty dollars. I'm a two dollars scratch off. Yeah. And yeah, look at that. Bang, bang, bang. Bing, 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 bing. Okay, That's how we do okay, it, so baby. We man a moderator. We out here manifesting. Okay. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> we out here manifesting. What? Okay, perfect. We're, right. you, we're, we're, well, you're gonna have to wait on that. Just you're fine. Okay. <laughs> Um, okay, so let's get to okay. And if people have questions, yeah. try to get to their so questions after. Debbie too. had asked a question, but now I don't remember what it was. So now you're gonna have to re. Um, you're what, gonna. I oh got. What does an hourglass mean? On what? On the hand? I'm not sure what that means. Um, um, oh, thank you, my love. <laughs> I don't even know what it means. <laughs> so what, sending you love and light too. I'm a rainbow baby, and I was always told that rainbow babies are first-time souls. Do you agree or disagree? I disagree. 
Um, I got to say, you're definitely not a first time soul. No, I, know. I don't know. I, I already told you, I didn't see you in the 1800s with that skirt dress up to here like that with your hair in a bun. And you were like, you stole in, you know, like real stuck up snotty type shit. I've been there too. I've been one of those bitches too. You know what I'm saying? But um, the triangle is right here. It should be like under this finger, the ring finger. You see the triangle and on top of that line, it should be above there. Somewhere. So then you okay. said the triangle was closed, but I have lots of other lines on both hands. What does that mean? Well, it's it, I'm I'm focusing on these lines. I would have to look at your palm, and it's just too much work right now. But um, you see where the X's and triangles are here. This is where it is. Right here. You see my hand? I'm gonna put it back, back out. right here. No, no, put my palm oh. back out. I, I oh. read that. Yeah. Right here. See, this is my palm, and this is the astral travel. Jesus, that's the healer. This is the astral traveler. This is the healer, and this is the the blockage of psychic energy, and this is the psychic marks. Many people will have many X's on this part of the hand because that shows that you are I'm, highly psychic, as I'm, as mine. Mine has a thousand X's all across both hands. Okay. Hopefully this works. Yeah, <laughs> I'll leave one. <laughs> what happened? No, she's like, can you go on baddies and give? Oh, never mind. Like, it's, a, it's a, it's a, it's a show that I'm seeing. It's like a spinoff of the show I was on. Bad, bad girls club. Uh, would you? Uh, um. So I'll be doing my show, Healing with Flow, as well, and I got several people lined up to come on as guests. But my show is focused on you guys, the collective. So when I do the show, it's more like I pick guests from the. You know, and they come on with a specific issue and they'll write an email saying, like, I would like to be a guest on next week. You know, I'm having issues with my mom or my sister. Can I come on? And then I'll have them on. And then they could talk about, like, what they're going through and stuff like that. And I can advise them. And at the same time, it's not just me just giving you advice. I'm actually connected to spirit while I give the answers to you. So it's like, you know, like an Oprah, but a psychic medium Oprah. You know what I mean? Like, but not psychic medium because I don't want to be labeled a psychic medium. Because so what I is feel the like difference then between a medium and a psychic? So a medium is, I'm, that's why I don't, I'm not a medium in psychic, because a medium is someone who can mediate between the spirit realms and the human world. A psychic medium is somebody who can mediate and then also has information about what's coming forward towards you, right? So a medium would just be able to connect with spirit as opposed to a psychic being able to connect to what's taking place. Is there anything coming towards you and stuff like that? But I wouldn't say that on that because I'm also an oracle, which means I can, uh, I can psychically uh, predict bigger things that are happening on earth as, as I p predicted the Balenciaga thing and, and a couple of other like a stabbing ones. I predicted a big things that were in the news, like the next day type shit. You know what, what about I'm the stuff so, like the war stuff? Like, have you seen I've, that? I've seen it a million times. The only difference with that is spirit will tell me like, you can tell people about it, but they like these are things that are going to take place anyway. So humans, like no matter what you write, if you say there's going to be a big pandemic ten years from now, there's always going to be something with humanity. So are you really predicting it, or are you just saying because history repeats itself always with humanity, as above, so below, it repeats itself. So I basically try to focus on the healing part of people's journeys, right? Um, I can read past lives. Like if I get tuned into your energy, spirit will tell me like. Oh, they were killed in a past life, or they were, you know, I see them with a white scarf on, they were wearing this, da, 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 da. and they'll show me like specific visions of somebody in my third eye, and it'll be like a little flashing where I'll see like a color of a couch or this or that, you know what I mean? So I'm also a remote viewer, astral traveler, oracle, psychic, medium. I talk to uh, beings from other planets, okay? So this, I'm not just a psychic medium because that would make me a psychic medium. I'm not. I'm, I can tell you that I can. Put me in a room with somebody who's like a psychic medium and I'll shut them the fuck down. That bitch will be like, what the fuck? Like she'll she'll leave there with her, with her dick in between her pants. You know what I'm saying? And she didn't even have a dick to start with. You know what I'm saying? She's like, Ugh. I'm scared of her. You know, I scare the shit out of powerful people. I do. Um, okay, so. so this one girl says, I have, I have dreams that actually happened in my life a few years later. Mm -hmm. So I mean, like you have a dream and then it comes a few years later. So there are psychic dreamers and they are very powerful people. So there's three types of dreams you can have. Okay. Spirit, guide me, guide me. Okay. Three types of dreams you can have. One is a lower astral realms where you can go into the lower astral realms and you'll know these dreams because when you're there and you see yourself in these dreams, it's usually in darker scenarios, like very dark situations. You're like, ooh, that was creepy. You know what I mean? lower spiritual astral realms there's um there's prophetic dreams which is like you can predict what's coming to you prophetic dreamer astral dreamer 
astral traveler, astral dreamer, prophetic dreamer, prophetic uh, traveler. And then there's the ones that come directly from God, the higher ups. These messages, for instance, when Shmovid was happening, Jesus came in my dream and showed me everything with a needle, the serpent. I told everybody about it. And then like they started talking about how people are being pushed to get those vaccines and all that stuff. I don't really like saying those words because the ops on here be watching. So um, there's different types. There's the lower astral dreamer. There's the prophetic dreamer. And then there's the ones that get messages directly from God. You could be all three of them, which is what I am. And a lot of people are that, but they just don't know it. Yeah. We are going to get to the aliens and stuff while well, we're getting there. Yeah. Okay. Um, what happens when you die? Um, so where do you this go? is when what do you everybody has their own beliefs. You? Everybody has their own beliefs. So I'm not pushing my beliefs on you. I'm just telling you what I've been shown. So um, your mind, your consciousness is what lives on. Now, when I've seen spirit in the astral dimensions, family, friends, whatever, if they were low vibrational here on earth, and they believe they were bad people and they were going to get punished, I've seen them in lower astral dimensions in the dream state because that's where I would have to lower my vibrations to go visit them. And they remain there because their mind tells them to remain there. But if you believe that you're going to go see Jesus, then Jesus you will find. If you think you're going to see Allah, Allah you will find. If you want to see the Buddha, Buddha you will find. If your mind tells you, I am the source, I am the creator, I am the universe, I am God, then you will essentially go up into the ninth dimension, which people are terrified from, because there's the nine dimension, dimensions of transcendence. With Matthias De Stefano, I strongly advise you watch that. It's called the Ninth Dimension of Transcendence. And the Ninth Dimension is the last dimension that people go to where when you get there, you realize that it's just you and it's just you. You're the creator and you're by yourself. And that's why many people need a God to follow because they're afraid to figure out that they're the only ones who exist and everybody else is just a, a manifestation of their consciousness or of each other's con consciousness. Like we're all creating each other simultaneously. It's a universal web, the cosmic web, they call it, right? Kabbalah calls it the tree of life. It's a cosmic web and it spreads out and every consciousness creates another reality. There you go, the tree of life. So so what, what happens when you die is what you believe happens when you die, which is why it is so important to get you motherfuckers out of the thought of like, I belong in hell, I'm a bad person. Nobody, and I mean nobody is up there. My head is pressure right now. Nobody is up there saying, Hey, you, you, go ahead, hey, you, you, you're bad, you belong in hell. Only you're doing that. You're doing it to you. So I need you to get out of the, remember, you're here to learn. Nothing is a mistake. Nothing is, I'm evil, I'm this, I'm that. You're learning. You are learning. That's why they say God forgives all, right? Even murderers and child, right? Because God, if God forgives all, that means that God forgives all. But it's, how can a God or goddess forgive you if you're not forgiving yourself? It's impossible. The, the, it's up to you to forgive. Other, the, the, the way you're going to free yourself to go to so well heaven is just to forgive yourself for every past thing that's ever happened. That's the way. It's the only way. The only way. The rest of it, you guys are going to be stuck if you don't forgive yourself and everyone else for everything that's ever happened and just realize that life is just as big, like, consciousness of things and this experiencing, experimenting and enjoying and fucking up and doing good. And when you figure that out, you can control your whole, uh, your whole life and your afterlife on that. So, okay. How we, can you control astral travel? Yeah, I saw that too. You can answer that question. How can you control astral travel? Many times I wear situations I find myself in past, future, or as an observer to someone else's situation. Okay. So one of my favorite ways to, to block myself from actual traveling to just anywhere is first of all, I have to, you have to speak to yourself that way before you go to bed and protect first of all, your spirit, your aura before you go to sleep. You got to tell yourself, I am protected. I will only travel to the places that I am here physically in this consciousness agreeing to. Remember, we make agreements in other time, space, and dimensions. And us here in this physical don't remember that, okay? We don't remember that we made contracts and agreements with people in past lives. And they could be from other planets. Yeah, they could be from other planets, other dimensions, other realities. 
So you have to really be clear on what you want here because this is your opportunity and your chance to clear everything and to let everything go that has bothered you. Man, this is the this is the path to freedom right here, Earth. It's the hardest school you'll go to, but it's one of the most beautiful ones when you figure out that you're just here to learn lessons and to forgive yourself and move forward. Laura's Cannon talks about that all the time and she right. does a lot of like, it's a stage. Like when you're in heaven and you look down, it's a stage. Oh, right. here's yeah, there's a few things I have a lot of questions right. about. Exactly. Oh. Me too. Me too. Me too. But there is a lot of things that she says that make a lot of sense well, to me. A lot of sense. Like there, you know, there's a couple relationships that have been severed because of certain people. And those people, well, I should say one person is dead now. And she did a, a lot of shady things to me and she ruined a relationship. And I'm trying to figure out, did I ask for this? Yes. I must Yes. Okay. I'm going to tell you one thing. I do believe that you asked for, um, you asked for it. This is what I'm going to say when I say you asked for it. So I know somebody personally who just went through a terrible divorce. I'm like, you don't understand my right side of my head. I'm getting so much downloads. It's crazy. My, uh, somebody I know got a, recently got a divorce and she was like, this is not a fucking game. I wasted 17 years of my life. And she was flipping out on me when I told her like life is like a game. Like you just got to play it. Right. And she got mad. Like I always, I said, I get what you're saying, but this is the lifetime where the people who are your worst enemy here on earth are your best friends in another place. I'm going to tell you why. Because only only your best friends and people that really truly love you would volunteer to play your enemy when they come here to earth so that you can learn from this mistake. Whatever it is, whatever she was doing, look at why it happened and what happened when it happened. I said, I kept my mouth shut and I didn't go open up my mouth. And what did she do? She turned around. Right. And that's okay because you have to look, like I said, Thank her for what she did and thank those people that hurt you in your life because I can promise you that they are helping you ascend. Believe it or not, they are really helping you ascend. Those people that hurt you, they are probably one of the most important people on this earth that work with you. And also the people that guide you. So you have two types of people. You have the people that you're guiding, the people that destroy things for you and the people that help you with things. And all of them are working together simultaneously to help create the best version of you. So Oh, are you always in every lifetime with the same group of people? Like, is my cousin Debbie and I always family? There, I would say that this is how I see it. You are, but they always play different people. So it's not the same person all the time. It's like, it's not like Debbie's going to come back as Debbie every time. Debbie's soul, her energy, her consciousness is Debbie, but it's not Debbie. You understand what I'm saying? It's her. It's but it's never the same. Like I've seen my mom in other lifetimes. She doesn't yes. look nothing like she looked right now. Um, you know, I've seen my sister. She doesn't look like she looks right now. I've seen brothers and cousins and uncles, and they don't look nothing like they look right now. It's because they play the same roles, but as different people. Got it. Yeah. And then can you explain how? So there's a lot of stuff lately about manifestation yeah. and yeah. Yeah. in your higher vibration and your your being delusional that you and your manifestations will come and 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 your here's our timeline mm -hmm. and our soul is in that timeline and timeline and this time how okay so everything's happening some simultaneously at once even though that's why there is no past present or future when i when i have communicated with my uh, starseed ancestors, my Pleiadian guides, okay, they will tell me that we don't deal with time, space, or, or any of that stuff. We Everything's happening simultaneously. So the past version of you, the future version of you, some they don't know about each other. Like, they're not, it's not like they all know who you are here. But when you understand that here, you it's like you're split off into different groups, right? Like the tarot deck. It's the, the 72 archetypes of the human uh, consciousness. Okay, go on. I'll get to that question. Okay, okay. so it's the 72, arch 72 archetypes of the human consciousness. So when you're here in this physical reality, it is very important, again, to heal everything. So let's say whatever is happening between you and anyone else here, remember it's happening in a different way in another time space or dimension. So the, the most important thing you can do is heal everything here <clears throat> so that everything else doesn't affect you. And then this way, you, this you, brings all of those versions of you together and they line up and become one big soul 
purpose. You see what I'm saying to you? But when it's, you're breaking off into pieces because that version of you is learning that, that version of you is still learning that, you're still working on that, you're still working on that. If you could work on all that here, you won't be split off into so many realities. You see what I'm saying to you? You'll be one strong, powerful soul. Okay, I have to say what's really crazy is the one- <clears throat> Bonalyn, Bonalyn, I see your question. I'll, I'll uh, get to it in a second. Go ahead, Bonalyn. Uh, so the, the lady that talked about the dimes, because dimes are very- Oh, dimes yeah. Have yeah, I love that one. And, and then the lady that's also asking about the ladybugs, those are like my two main like things. Okay. Okay, so really quick, let me just answer Bon and Lynn's yeah. question. When you meet somebody that, um, when you meet somebody and you feel like you know, uh, like you know them, does that mean that you guys have soul ties? Um, yes, it does. It means you either know each other in another time, space, or dimension, or you just are connected to them in some way or another. And one more thing, um, right here. Have you ever seen a timeline while living the other? So I've been here in this physical body and astral projected to another timeline. And I've seen myself playing out those uh, those realities. And I've watched myself. Like I'll be in a hoodie somewhere in the corner watching me play out those. It's fucking insane and nuts. But yes, I have seen it. Okay. So the dimes, the ladybugs, let's get to it. See, this is what I love right here. I could do this all day I, more, I, girl. I, <laughs> all day. <laughs> yeah people i mean i don't know how long you want to go but like i you know when you want the to real grace the real grace says do you believe that twin flames are soul split and two do you know did you ever hear of the saying um that um uh zeus zeus uh he, humans were born man and woman into one body that's what the belief is that uh, uh this is a myth of the Greek mythology. Humans were born into one body. The male and female were born together and they were connected. And then Zeus got so jealous that he split them up for, um, he split them up, making them live the rest of their eternity searching for each other. So I believe strongly that yes, we do have one tw twin soul flame, soul flame, that one that when you come together, oh, magical. But I do believe that there's toxic twin flames too. And then there's one soul twin flame, that one that is like the divine ma masculine, divine feminine. Now, the funny thing is I believe that those both versions are both you. That's the weirdest part about it because it's your masculine and your feminine coming together and you become one. You see what I'm saying to you? When the divine feminine, divine masculine comes together, it's a twin flame. I don't believe those are separate from each other. I do believe you have um, soul mates that you have to get to and get through in order to achieve the, the well, ultimate twin flame. I think everyone's a soulmate. I think yeah, everybody's. It's not everyone's a soulmate, but everybody you run into has a, you have a soul con connection Next. with them somehow or another. Yeah, the, right. The, like, like there's someone that I met. Like there's that I'm like, okay, I, this is, I don't know when, but this something's going to happen. Like, it's yeah. just, annoying. I can't describe, it's a knowing. Right, it is. And um, so we get, we get back to deja vu, a glitch or alternate timeline. Deja vu is just a confirmation that you were here in a past life before. This this is, you could be repeating the same life to me, and that's what I heard right. from spirit. So the, that's, what, yeah, like you could, you're, you, it's, if you get deja vu, for me, there, you know, you know that feeling. You go, what does everybody say when they get that deja vu? Yeah, Holy like, shit, this has well, happened I before. I always keep asking, like, did I do something wrong, like with my dreams and the senses of the Akashi records, which we will get to, is like, okay, I was in LA for ten years. Like, did I do something wrong? No, I, no, no. I, I was little. Yeah, no. like, I wanted to be famous. I wanted to be an actress. Uh, I wanted to be a different. I wanted to be a solid gold dancer. Now I'm aging myself, but you know. I wanted to be, you know, I mean, one of the things that did happen, I did work on one show where I worked with Joan Rivers. I mean, I, I, I had a lot of fun. I was in the Wedding Crashers. So, like, there's a lot of She was in the Wedding Crashers, by the way. <laughs> no, but, like, like, I wanted, like, I've always seen myself with Oscars and that kind of stuff. Like, I don't know, like, did I do something wrong? Did I mess up my Akashi timeline? No. Like, Oh, nobody did nothing wrong. We just, we have to, this is why I need to like drill this shit in everybody's head because one of the things my guides work with me so heavily is first of all, they keep, hello, you can manifest anything you want. Hello, nothing you've done is wrong or bad. Hello, like Flo, stop that thinking because when I do it, my guides are like, would you fucking just step up to the podium and stop complaining about the dumb shit? Like, cause I'd be like, oh, what about this and that? I used to do that. And now I'm just like, eh. 
It was because I needed that to happen. Nothing we did was wrong. Listen, I, w I could sing. I was going to be an actress and all that. It, oh, uh, message. Because when you say, like, I should have been an actress, I should have. Do you know that any one of you, if you are dying to be an actor, pro producer, writer, do you know that that's what you were in a past life and you're oh, trying I to relive that? that? You're trying to redo it again in this lifetime? It doesn't mean always that you're going to do it in this lifetime. It just means that you have that creative side in you, right? So did you just see that orb? I just saw or pass by. Um, so it I means that you have that. Ins platforms. Yeah. Um, um, what did she say? So many, so many prey on people is why we need to keep them. So, oh, yeah, yeah, exactly. We need to keep talking about this stuff. Yeah, okay. So do we choose our guides or do they choose us? Mm, I love that that's, question. Do we choose the, our guides or do they choose us? Okay. See, we could do this all night. You choose each other is what so, I'm hearing. You choose each other. Ask then, like, so before we come here, we've chosen our guides and our angels, and so we already kind of know all that. Yeah, it's by people that you're connected to, like, really. These are okay. So, can I tell you guys um, when I saw my guides what happened? Okay, so um, when I asked to see my guides, and they really they only show themselves in my dreams when I told them like somebody, these people are fucking with me. You got to get rid of them. And they show up. So my guides, they wear all white. They're dressed in all white all the time. They're very like stoic and very serious people, which is why I get like that a lot. Why I have that in me so much because I'm connected to that. So um, when they showed me who they are, not that who they are, it's that I'm them and they're me, right? They showed me. So she took me up into the skies and she was wearing all white. She was uh, floating on a skyscraper across the sky and she took me to a restaurant that was floating in the sky. And she sat across from me and I sat here and I looked at her and I went like that. I, she was eating this big steak and she was chilling. They were living the life, bro. And I went like this to her. I want to do what you're doing. Can I do it too? And she went like this to me. I don't know. Can you? Like, you know, like testing me like, bitch, this, you, yes, you can. Like, can you, can you do it? I know you can. And then another time when I've seen them, when negative energy was bothering me, they showed me in the dream, they were there. Like I saw them, I watched them from the corner and they were there. These people were here and I was trying to get some business done. And these people kept interrupting me and they went like this. They were in the corner like this, like them right there. You see them, they're bothering her. And then, and then they took those people. I never saw them again after that. They were bothering me for like a year straight, these entities. You understand? Yes. Okay. This question. What about our kids? Mm -hmm. My youngest always says, when I was with God and baby Jesus, and we are not religious. Okay. Okay. What do you mean? That, is I that the end of the question? What he's saying is that they're not religious and her children or her son or daughter is always saying when I was with God, like he's saying like, like he's always talking about Jesus and God. Okay. So I'm, yeah, I'm not religious either, but Jesus and Mary have visited me in my dreams many times. And, um, and I believe that strongly because we were a part of that. Some, when he said when I was with God and baby Jesus. So he said that when he was there with God and baby Jesus. So he, in some point of his life, was a part of that. He was a part of that. Because I'm going to tell you like this. And I'm, I'm going to say something. This might be controversial for people. But you can go up to Jesus right now when you, God forbid, you pass away. Right? You go up to Jesus. And Jesus, remember, what does everybody always say? I went to see Jesus. And what did he tell me? Not yet. And he returned me back to earth. Right? Yeah. Why? You're not ready yet because I'm not the end all be all. I'm not where you need to be going. You need to be going past me. I'm just a guide to your ascension. I'm a guide. That's what he'll tell you. He'll look at you and be like, you're doing a great job. And some, okay. So, but don't forget, some people want to go to Jesus and be with Jesus. And that's fine too. And there is, I'm sure there's levels of heavens that people can go to. Cause I've seen levels of hells, levels of heavens. And you can go stay with Jesus. You can be that, or you could further ascend above or beyond Jesus. It's up to you. It's you up. It's your choice. Up to you. Completely up to you. Um, yep. mm -hmm. What do you do when you ask for a sign and you don't get it? Um, what are you doing? Okay. Let me just answer that question about the, um, dimes and the ladybug. So those are signs. Those are signs. And, um, oftentimes a male energy, a male grandfather, father, uncle leaves dimes around. That's like, they're, they're known for like the coins and stuff like that. That's like a male energy. 
Um, when you have things like a ladybug, she represents good luck and abundance, right? So if you see a ladybug land on your car, all of a sudden you're like, oh my God, that means things are good, good things are coming to you. Blue jays, um, cardinals represent male energy, blue jays, female energy, so so family, friends. Blue jays are friendly birds. They, are, they love to work in friendly social uh, circles. So when you see a spirit animal approach you, an animal, and it just comes out of nowhere, all you need to do is look up, what does that animal do? How do they live? How do they respond to things? How do they react? And look up and whatever that message is, it'll mean that, like, let's say the owl, right? They're great at hunting at night. They're very, they're very, they can uh, envision their prey and hear it with their ears and go. So that means that you have the, the power of hearing and sight and all that stuff. Just like when you see a hawk, hawks prey on the top and they can grab their prey. And once they get their claws on that shit, it ain't going. So you have the strength of the hawk. You have people protecting you as a hawk. Your spirit guides can show up as spirit animals a lot. For instance, I will see six to seven hawks fly over me oftentimes. To me, those are my spirit guides. You understand me? So if you see an animal often, shamans believe that when a certain bird comes to them often, they will then call themselves uh, the raven snow or the hawkeye or, you know, the, the squirrel man or something like that because that's what they have that, whatever that animal represents, that's what they're good at, okay? So one of my things is crows, ravens, and hawks are, are my favorite, like they come to me all the time. And that's because, first of all, I can travel to the world, through the world, just like ravens. And, you know, every in every movie, what does what does the evil person have? They have a raven on their side. But so do the good guys, right? Uh, if you ever watch The Sandman, he has the raven and he tells him, he goes back and communicates to back, back and forth. If you see these kind of birds that are birds of the underworld, it means that you're able to go down up and through the dimensions and portals and you're able to bring that information back here and and another thing i want to mention when you astral travel travel guys you're not doing it for no reason you're going to pick up information and bring it I, back here okay I don't so know where you, i've been going but things have been happening it's kind of freaking me out well you know um i i really where i'm going every night going a lot of places too and i'm uh frankly i'm fucking tired <laughs> sometimes it just like be like I, you know, I get up and you don't know you know what i do sometimes i'll tell you guys i will threaten spirit with like i don't take medication just so like to make that let's make that clear i used to take all types of pills today i don't the only thing i take is kratom and that's like a natural herb medicine and i take it for pain and for sleep and all that but you know that's uh it's over the counter it's nothing crazy um but um so i will tell you i will threaten spirit i'll be like Keep fucking with me. I'm gonna take Xanax. I'm gonna sleep and I'm not even gonna fucking know you're around anymore. I'd be yelling at them like that because they do too much. They'll be taking me here, there, everywhere. I'm like, yo, what the fuck? Stop taking me to these dumbass worlds for no reason. I don't need to see this shit. Like, you're wasting my time and my energy because let me just tell you, when you're a powerful astral projector, that's why you have to set the boundaries because sometimes your spirit, you you gotta even yell at yourself in other dimensions. You're like, yo, bitch. Get your shit together. You're doing a lot right now. Like you're here, there, everywhere. Like get your shit together. And I'll be telling my selves, I'm not you. You're not me, bitch. I'm me here. So whatever you're doing, don't involve me in your bullshit. I'm not a part of that shit. I'm I'm ascending here. If you're not with the shits, then go. Be fucking lost in that dimension forever and leave me alone. You know what I'm saying? Fuck that. The truth. I'm not fucking with these bitches. Even myself. I'm not fucking with myself. I don't give a shit. <laughs> You got time for that shit. Get the fuck out of here. Just because you don't want to ascend. I'm like, fuck that bitch. That's a part of me. Let that bitch get stuck there. She's getting on my nerves. You know what I mean? Yeah, so driving me fucking nuts. Like, yeah, like I'm trying to work. I'm working on myself here. Like, you know what the thing is? I'm going to tell you right now. I'm going to tell you. This is why spirit loves me so much. Because at the same time, as much as I respect them, I'm like, you can't tell me what to do. That's the thing, though. Because it's free will, motherfucker. Like, I didn't come here to be like, what would you like me to do, spirit? I came here to be like, guide me. But don't tell me what to do because... If you tell me, are you here right now? Are you here? No? Then you don't know what it feels like. So don't expect me to do this, expect me to do that, be perfect. You don't know what the fuck. Do you know what Earth is like? Especially if it's a guy that's never been to Earth. I'm like, bitch, don't. You don't even know what this shit is like. Don't do it. Because you don't know. Because they swear to God, we're supposed to be like, no, nobody's judging you. They're like, do you on your time. They don't care. They just... They're trying to get you to do shit because they know you're powerful and they don't want you wasting time with stuff. But they're not telling you, you got to do it now. To get it done this week. It's nobody's business. It's your free will. You can do whatever you want, whatever you want, and nobody can tell you what to do. Do you understand that word? Understand free will. 
Only the darkness interferes with your free will. The light does not. They just want to see you do good, so they protect you. They watch over you and tell you not to go there because that's not good for you. It's dangerous. The dark will be like, bitch, you should do this because you're whack and you're ugly and you're stupid. You know what I'm saying to you? That's interference with free will, and that's against the rules, and I don't abide by those rules, and I don't abide by any rules anyway. So, you know, I have my own set of rules, my own set of laws that I work with, you understand? Okay, do you know of other aspects of yourself and other lifetimes by names? Do you know how, no, and I don't care to know them. I really don't. I'm gonna tell you guys, what we got one thing I've learned from spirit guides, they tell me instantly stop obsessing with who you are in other times. Forget about who you were in a past life and forget, and once you get past of the obsessing with who you are, who you were. I don't seem to care what I was oh, or what I was. Okay, because when you do that, you're just, you're asking for like that part of you to come and be real. If you could just say who I was, what's who I was, and that's that. If you want spirit to show you, they'll show you. But I'm going to tell you, some stuff is going to be yeah, really I tough and you may not be able to forgive that. So I would let that shit go now. You know what I mean? I remember uh, Heather Carlucci was one of the first mediums on this show in my mm. first and I used to tell her, I'm always surprised she died in an airplane. And she's like, nope. The reason why you're afraid of heights is because you were thrown off a cliff. Well, I don't want to know who the fuck pushed me. Like, if it was an accident and someone pushed Yeah, me. I mean, we've lived a lot of the lifetimes, but the point to do that here in this lifetime is the greatest thing that you, you want to know a secret, you guys, the way you're going to know that you're working on it, you're ascending, is that you're right now. In this lifetime, you're thinking about who you were in the past life and what's going on, the karmic lessons. I can guarantee you in other lifetimes, you knew about none of this shit, none of this psychic shit. You were just, you know those people, they go to work, they go to sleep, and they tell you, oh, it's this is what it's like and that's that. They have no open minds. They're, they're telling you what it's like and that's that. They have absolutely no... no interpretation of what we're talking about right now. If we start talking about psychic, and they'll look at us like, huh? What are you talking about? That's who you were in a past life. I don't know, and I don't care. Ignorance is bliss, they say, right? right? Because guess what? When you're ignorant and you don't really know anything about this stuff, you can just go about your day, think that life is about going to work, working hard, doing what you have to do, suffering, going to work nine to five, killing yourself all day, all night, not trying to ascend, not trying to do that, and that's that. That's why it's important for you to understand you're already ascending and doing things what you need to do. Because look at you right here with us, listening to this stuff stuff that people look at and go that's not real that's all in your head that's all bullshit if it's not real and it's all in our head and it's all bullshit then why is the majority of the collective waking up to it exactly are you um, sure they're not telling us it's not real for a reason yeah so mm -hmm. um i think it's time to do a reading i'm like yeah because yeah i mm -hmm. want to do a reading. yeah um okay. all right so i don't know how <sighs> I would just close your eyes and just, I mean, or like let spirit guide you to who you want to pick. Let's see. So people can request to join and then I can go from there. Okay. Can I ask you guys a question on the, on the live? I know everybody wants a reading. I know that everybody, but can it, can you guys be somebody who really needs one yeah. right now and is like, and I'm telling dire strains, situations that you need it. Not like, oh, I, I know exactly, I, I got this. I just need a reading because I like reading. I like reading too, but, you know. Um, I, hold on. Let me pick. I got okay. it, Lisa. I think it's okay. better. Hold I, on. I, I'll let Spirit guide me. Just give me a second. They'll tell me. Don't worry about it. Hold on. Okay. All right, so let's, I'm seeing two people that are, that are sticking out to me. We have a name here, um, Patty Dedell and her. Heart Tia. Those two are um, sticking out to me, but I'm going to go with Patty right now, and we'll pick another one after, okay? okay? Cool. So, Patty, can you request to join if you're okay with getting a reading? Yes, the real great. Yes, they are. Okay. That's me. Hold on. Um, okay. Yeah. Request to get her. 
She just has to request it. Yeah. So, Patty, if you want to, um, can you request to join the live? Um, oh, here we go. I can invite her. Okay. Let's that one. Okay. Okay. So, Patty, let us know if you're hearing this. I requested, I invited you to join the live. Okay. So, I invited her. Okay, Hartia, get in the room. Hartia? Request Hartia. Hartia, request the live, please. Five. So whoever requested first is getting the reading. So you better move fast. All right. Well, the people that, that are in here, can you see who's in there? Can you click and see? Do you have Hold on one second. One second. No, I can't. Okay. Is there a reason why they can't request it? Well, Oh, okay. So the people, why do I, okay, hold on. So who was the person you just said? Hartia, how do you do that? Girl, you better figure it out. <laughs> There's a, I don't know how you do it. I can't see her live, but I think on the bottom there, on the bottom of the screen, there's a request is, button. You have to request it. There we go. Hold on. Because I don't, I have, I have people in here, but it's no one that we would saying. So... All right, where is that? Where is that other person you said? Patty or it's Heart Tia. You're talking about Heart Tia right yeah. there. Press her. Oh, heart there underscore there, Tia. Here. Okay, so I just okay. invited her. Have her look on the bottom. Look on the bottom, Tia. Tia there you go. She there? She's there. Hi. 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 How are you? Oh my God. Okay. I'm live. So. And don't be sorry. Don't be sorry. sorry. So, I, like, I, you know, I'm just, I always have this, like, serious look, but I'm very, like, I love everyone. I just, I'm a pleadian, too, so I'm more like, hey, yes, what's wrong? You know what I mean? So it looks like, but I'm always loving and caring for people. I just happen to have that serious look to me. Okay. All right. So I'm going to say this. I don't know if, um, because so when I was picking up the messages, I don't know if it was for her, for you, but I, I did hear dad, grandmother, Aquarius, and Gemini. I don't know if that was for her or you, but is any of those resonating with you? Because if not, I'll throw those out and start again. Okay, so that was for her. My dad, my dad is in January, okay. so he's an Aquarius. Um, did your grandmother pass away? Okay. Yes. See, that's why I told people, think before you talk. Cause you're like, no, I don't. Oh, my dad's in January. He's an Aquarius. My grandmother did pass away, by the way. <laughs> yeah. uh, oh, I'm, okay, so it's okay. I'm nervous. really nervous. It's okay. No, don't be nervous. Um, I'm gonna going to say I'm getting hit on the right side. Of, I'm getting hit on my right side of my eye. Okay. So, um, I don't know if you are planning to do like real estate, money making, selling products, entrepreneur. You're good at this kind of work. So if you're wondering like what I should do, this is coming mm -hmm. up for you. Very important. Okay. So, so exactly another thing what though, um, whatever blocks you're having, it's because you're um, you're having a lot of fears towards them. And your guides, they want you to know we're here to help you remove them. We are your team and you are not alone. Okay. So if you've been feeling alone Thank or you. scared that it's not going to work out, you got to start tuning more into the energy because you have a lot of aunties around you okay uh i see like women being like it's okay like you know like doing the indian like head thing like that yeah oh, the goes like this a lot. Okay, so, yeah. Um, yeah this could be grandma too um and i'm gonna say so is there your mom's side pass too okay because that's what i'm hearing mom yes so clear um what is going on with your mom is she is she okay she's sick or anything How um, I, know well, <laughs> that's what she's, that's what they're telling me. Yes. And I think your, your mom's mom is the one talking yeah. about this. I, yeah, it is. It's definitely her. Uh, so, mm -hmm. so just last week, uh, we got a report. That there was something in her mammogram and they suspected okay. that it was maybe cancer. We still have okay. the biopsy and all, but it was, a it's going to be okay. So yes, I'm hearing that. okay. It's going to be okay. You don't have to worry and tell mom. Tell Thank your you. tell your mom. Her mother said it's gonna be okay. Okay. 
But, but I don't know if your mom believes oh in psychic. Gosh. So if she doesn't, your mom said to tell her you had, your mom said to tell her you had a dream about it. Okay. Because she's just saying, tell mom, tell mom you had a dream that nothing's <laughs> going to happen to you and that you're going to be fine. So she's going to be okay. It's not Thank what you. you guys think it is. I'm hearing that very strongly. So that's important for you guys to know, but just go check and run the test. And another thing, she's got to stop being so stressed out all the time. That's one of the things they keep saying that it's like, you know, stress really does cause a lot of illnesses for people. Okay. So she wants you to know that. Like, yeah. and I mean, I keep getting hit in my right side of my eye right here. Um, I'm hearing something about gifts. Okay. Wait, cause it could be like, no, no. Do you feel a lot of like pressure in the head or like your eye or this area and stuff like that at all? Do you have it? Yeah. Do you, okay. Do you get headaches or is that just, you're just hitting me for no reason here on the right side? Okay. I just feel very heavy. I had I had this year I had really bad case of headaches. It has gotten a lot better. But lately I've been feeling okay. very tired. Okay. Do, do you know somebody here. with the name that starts with L A? L A La. Okay. That's, okay. That's my grandma. Is what's her name? Lalita. Watch this. Let me show you what she was showing me. She said, "Look at the card. Look at the card. Look what it says." And <laughs> It almost sounds like la, it says la 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 lita, like literally. She kept saying, yeah. she kept saying, L- and I just have this card out on my desk because, um, and here's the funny thing, look, because you're Indian, right? Obviously, right? You're Indian, right? Okay, not obviously, yeah. but you know what I mean. And then yeah. she's showing you this card. You see that? Um, you see that card? Because she's like a beautiful Indian woman. Yeah. Okay, Rabia, Rabia. Yeah, yeah. It says the queen of saintly woman. I'm in service of divine love. I move the way love asks me to move. Um, so you have to see yourself for this. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. She goes, no, no, no. I'm going to, don't make me do the accent. Okay. <laughs> because she's going to make me do it. She's going to make me do it. I really can't do it. No, but she's making, she's telling me. Do it. I love it. She's so powerful. Like she's telling me like that. Like she wants me to hear. She, she started laughing because she knows I do the Indian accent. She's like, oh, now you don't want to do it. I'm like, no, I don't want to do it. Because she, I think she spoke more her language too, because uh, I kind of say this sounds like somebody who yeah. didn't really speak full English, but she does have a couple of words no. here she, she's saying oh. okay um okay yeah mm-hmm. okay so oh my god how many how many okay so th- this is spirit's gonna always connect me to the thing that's bothering you the most that you need to release okay they confirm who they are okay the name the that the, the, great now they want to talk about you and and how you have to release whatever blocks you've been having and i feel like this has to do with okay we know um pressure from the people around you a lot of pressure they do this do that you're not doing this why aren't you doing that and you gotta just like shut these fucking people up yeah and just do whatever you want to do and i know it's not yes. easy because i grew up albanian and i know how they are and then people are like albanians you have to get married you know and nobody's gonna love you and then, they drive you crazy with that. No, I'm not even kidding. There was a woman from India who wrote me an email and she was like, my son is in, in medical school and blah, blah, blah. And she's like, what do I do? He's not listening. And I wrote her a letter. And I said, why don't you just be nice to your son for once in your life? Stop pressuring yeah. them. Like you're going to get him to yeah. kill himself. Stop doing that. And she wrote back was like, I didn't expect to hear that. Yeah. Like, oh, you wanted me to say you're right. And everything you're saying is right. You got to let your kids be who they are. Stop yeah. trying to mold them into who you guys are used to them being. Right? Okay? So that's important. Okay. Um, okay. Let's pull a couple more cards and we'll move on to somebody else. Okay. Because I really want. Okay. So okay. we want to get yes. a couple of people. Oh, thank Wait, you. Where did she go? She's not there. Okay. I guess she stopped alive. Okay. Never mind. Okay. That, okay. Um, so what's your name, hun? Tara. Dara. Dara. Okay. Listen to me. Uh, were you dating someone or is this something with a relationship with somebody that is not, it didn't work out or it's not working out? Okay. I'm going to say, let them go that they're, they're not the ones for it. I'm not telling you what to do. This is confirmation. If this doesn't feel like you knew this already, but okay. you just needed to hear it, Spirit's telling you they're, they're in the way. They're just in the way. Move them. You know what I'm saying? I, I'm, I'm seeing her go like this. <laughs> and she's not telling you in a judgmental way because in the spirit world, they're not like they are here in the astral, here in the, in the I would say she's, mm-hmm. she wants you to be happy, and this is not it. She goes like that. And you know that already, though. You can feel it, okay? They're, they're not serious yeah. about you is what I'm hearing, okay, specifically. Okay, and then another thing. 
Okay. Stop judging yourself about the lessons that you've learned. They're not mistakes. They're just lessons. Okay. You have to stop doing that. You're judging yourself. Stop doing that. Stop. Do no, that I'm so serious. Much. I'm going to punch you in the face. Stop doing that before I beat your ass. You know what I'm saying? I'm going to tell you why. I'm going to tell you why. Let me clear that for you. Bing, 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 bing. Because this is your grandmother telling you, like, that is one of the things she did when she was alive a lot. And she said, I think it killed me. You know what I mean? She's like, I, too much worries, too much, you know, too much, too much, too much. She goes, go relax, enjoy your life, yeah. and be who you want to be, and that's that. Stop worrying, okay? All right, so um, remember, okay, let me yeah. tell you just real quick. Because, you know, she's got a hundred things to say, but she wants to say this. Uh, tell your mom, tell your mom not to worry. You don't worry. Uh, one big okay. message she has you communicate more with your parents is what I'm hearing. Communicate more. Just be okay. open with them a little bit more. Okay. There's like a fear of like being yourself mm -hmm. or whatever it is. And do you have a brother? Whose brother is she talking mm -hmm. about? She's talking oh, about somebody's I'm brother. The only child. She's like, oh, the brother mentioned the brother. I don't know if it's your brother. Her bro or somebody's brother. Um, something about somebody's brother. Okay. My mom. Well, that's brother. that's her kid, they, right? They so the, the brother. Away. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Okay. So. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> yeah. Shut up, Lisa. <laughs> the okay. So she just. I think more of the lines is like more like just wanting you to focus. This is about you right now. So she. Oh, these headaches that whatever these pains right here on the right side of the head uh this is all because like you're connecting more and more and keep i'm hearing focus on the crown chakra okay connect to the crown chakra okay okay honey all right it was great talking to you i hope that helped you you're welcome thank you thank you so much <laughs> oh i don't know thank you but you're so welcome thank you're you welcome. i love you I love grateful people. Oh my gosh. It's good. They, you just, girl, take the I message and use it for your it. own good. If you get a message like that, it's very rare. So like take it and just use it for yourself, okay? My you know as you oh, said, I love, my heart love that. that that's that's confirmation right there. When that happens, spirit's telling you this, you know, this bitch she cares and she's telling you what she, what she thinks you need to hear the most right now, okay? Okay. You're, You're welcome, my love. I don't know how to get Thank you. I think she has to exit I, out. Do you, can you exit out, Tia? Okay. You. Okay. Bye, honey. I appreciate yeah. it. Um, thank, thank you. I don't know okay. how to exit, but okay. I'll okay, okay honey. See you later. Thank, thank you for coming. <laughs> Bye, honey. Thank um, you. So I you. saw somebody here. Uh, Patty, who's, who's this? Do... What's that? Patty, the one, the first lady. She's I okay. And then who else were you looking at? No, no, that's okay. okay. Go ahead. Where is she? Okay. Is she here? I'm accepting it. Okay. Let's see. Is it working? Yeah. Oh, it's Did you see how? Hello. Hey, I'm, I'm using my mom's iPad. Oh, okay. 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 Yeah, so, okay. <laughs> okay. It's all right. It's okay. It's like going. What's your name? It's Federico. Federico. Oh, okay. How are you, Frederico? Good, good. I'm like so excited. I've been like willing to talk to you. Like I follow you like every day. I'm so happy. I just see it. That's why Spirit pointed me to you. It's like it's go to him, go to him. It's been uh, rough. Okay. Um, and I'm sorry to hear that, but you know, um, the reason why I say okay is because I always I know, love I when things I love when things get rough because I feel like that's yeah. when I know that my next stage is I about know. to come um, so let's pull some cards here for you just to get some extra messages okay just relax okay. take it easy just do me one favor I can't with the music I just it makes me oh, okay um, yeah, yeah, I, sure. all I can hear is the beat of the music because it's just I need to hear silence so I can hear what I'm hearing okay, okay. okay. thank you heart see ya Tia, I'll be done in a little bit, baby. What's up? Hold on a second, you guys. Sorry. We're at, we're at home, so. On the bottom, baby. Okay. I'm just writing some stuff down, Federico, so yeah. just give me a second. Okay. Take your time. <clears throat> Okay. Okay. Thank you. That's my daughter. Um, so, all right.
immediately something about the mom, the brother, I hear uncle, and then there's something about a girlfriend. And I don't know if it's yours or somebody's girlfriend's. Okay. I'm getting hit in the head. Somebody who either, this, do you know somebody who died in a car accident? Let's keep the energy clear. No. We gotta go right to him, okay? No. Yeah, I do. So let's clear. Okay, clear it, clear it. Okay, okay. Because I'm getting somebody who, like, I, I feel a head injury is what I'm feeling, okay? So, like I said, sometimes yes. other spirit will be like, yeah, car accident. It's like, hey, 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 hey. Okay, they can, wait we, your turn, motherfucker. Okay. Okay, so, Federico, um, I keep hearing something about the, the mom. I, I don't know if it's your brother. I'm not sure, but I hear a mom, brother, and something about an uncle. And I don't know if that's coming through for you or somebody else. Mm, somebody else. Okay. So let's clear that. Let's clear it all. Just let's, I'm going to save this though, because this might be for someone else. So let's okay. go to the next page. Okay. I'm hearing the sign, Leo. Leo. My mom. Okay. okay. I just said the mom, jackass. They don't have to be dead. You know why uh, spirit could be talking about them? If they're going, if this is how I'm going to tell you to listen to a psychic like this. If someone in your family, like the mom or brother or, or uncles are going through something, okay. Whoever is speaking on behalf of them, they're related to them and they're in the spirit world and they're mentioning them because they're not always going to talk just about you. Remember that. There's other things they want to say too. Um, okay. Uh, I am hearing something about getting fired from a job or something like that. Something. Uh, okay. Well, yeah, actually, I, I was just putting on the comments like I kind of quit my job job like oh i didn't see that i didn't see that yeah so okay so kinda, so it was like kind of like my option like, um 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 do you feel like you're gonna get fired or do you want to quit so it's like a fired situation um, you want to fire them basically yeah okay kinda, do it yes. do it yeah I, because I, that's I, not it's not okay it's not not that you're not good at it and it's not that it's not great it's that you have a lot more to <laughs> to offer right. than they're right. even that's like right. giving yes. you <clears throat> credit for and everyone could say that at a job right but that's not yeah. true some people are happy where they're at they're like bitch i just want to answer phones like i'm not trying to do more than that okay yes okay uh i'm getting pressure and pain in my right shoulder and i don't know why that is but i'm going to always speak about what i'm having so i don't know if you're going through physical emotional mental I don't want to say illness, but it's a, it's a, yeah, but it's like, um, that thing on like, should I do this? Should I like, I, I, I suffer like from anxiety, like crazy. Okay. I was going to say depression was coming to me, but yeah. I didn't want to say that word. And, I hate that word. I hate that. Word. Um, September 11, my dad passed. Okay. Um, so these years been like really rough. Like I was like pretty much, you know, taking care of him. And then I spent like, a month in the hospital okay. um so well yeah i, I learned that kind of like the universe had to take something from me for me to get everything that i was waiting for and it's been um like, i'm gonna i'm gonna show you something here real quick on the, just on this corner of the room of the thing as i was scribbling here right here the word fire it says yeah. fire and i didn't know what that meant but i guess september did he was he in the fire at like smoke? no 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 what is no, what was uh, it Answer. I'm sorry. Okay. Okay. I'm sorry to hear that. Okay. All right. So let's get into it. Okay. I feel like a, a very Catholic energy. I don't know why. A very religious. Uh, I'm hearing singing. No, no, not, not really. Let me ask you a question. Do me one favor, just for a second. Who is past in the spirit world that you feel like um, is there family members that are not so close to you that you can think of because they, whoever this is is not close to you. They're not directly related to you. Is there anybody that you can feel? It's weird because he, it's like they are connected to your dad though, whoever it is, they're connected. Okay. To, your dad's alive still, right? No, no, he passed. That's my what dad. I'm asking you. Is it your dad or is it someone connected to your dad? Oh, uh, no, my dad. Okay. So he did not die. I mean, he did die. Sorry, I keep saying he did not die. I'm hearing the letter J. I'm seeing a name L I here. L I looks like Liza or Lisa. I'm not sure. 
the letter the letter J. I said that. That's two times it came up. Um, hold on. Yeah, I'm trying. Is, to is this oh. is this resonating with anybody else? Hold on, guys. Is this resonating with anybody else? Because if it's not the moment, that means that spirit will come back to it. Trying to like. I can't hear you. You're you're saying stuff that's resonating to me. Okay. So I don't, I don't want that for this live. So. No, no, but I know, but if Sparrow wants to talk about something, I can't stop them. So just give me a moment. Give me a moment. Let me just talk. If, if it's resonating with you, uh, just say it's me. Cause, so this way, because I have you both in here now. Now we're <laughs> going back and forth, okay? Okay, so. Uh, and then Jonathan, J would be Jonathan. That's my brother. Okay, so because we, we have the letter J. We have brother written down here. We have. Judy is. Another J, yeah. two J's. Look, two J's. You see, J. Where the fuck is it? Where? I just see those J's. Oh, right there. There's a J here, right here. See that J? And then there's another J here. You see, I'm writing down the J's there and there. I can't. Sometimes I can't. Yeah, there we go. Right there. Hold on. I'll show you. Those two J's. You see those two J's right there? The J and the J. Right there. Two different J's. Okay, and then there's, again, we have uh, the car accident that's coming up again. So just give me a minute, Frederick. I'll just give yeah, them a minute. When, the, when, it's, when it's time, they'll come in. They'll talk. Okay. Uh, so. Because, yeah, because my, my mom's friend's daughter's son died in a car accident. Okay. <sighs> I'm hearing a name, L-A. It sounds like Layla. I'm not sure. It's a lot. I know a Layla, um, okay. Lisa. Uh, Lisa, I have Lisa written down right here. Okay, well, that's see that? me. Well, Lisa, I know well, I'm, I'm hearing, it's more like Liza, Liza, okay? Okay, um, it's, spirits are really coming out to talk today because I see other people in the live going, me, that's me, that's me. <laughs> okay, can we, hold on. <laughs> slow down, slow down. Everybody calm down. <laughs> whoop your asses up in here. Oh, the fuck them. Let's get it. Debbie Wallen. Okay. Frederico, you will get your no, uh, no, 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 no. I'm, I'm excited. excited to be here with you guys. So. Frederico, I'm going to tell you something. I'm going to say something. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to explain something to you. Um, I am hearing grandfather as well, too. I'm just going to say what I'm hearing. That's that. I'm hearing grandfather, but this is what I'm hearing. There are things that spirit does not want to talk about with you out loud. If that makes sense to you, yeah, there's some private. Know. Okay. Yes. This is how yeah. I feel. I feel like I'm being pushed the opposite way. Like I'm scared to talk about something. And that means to me, either you don't want nobody to know about it or it's, they don't want to mention it. Cause they don't want to like, it's not like, cause they don't want to feel like they're putting you to like shame or anything like that. Cause they're not, but they, there are things that they want to say that they're not allowing me to say to you right now. So if there's something with going on with like, depression and stuff like that and 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 again we said illness like if there's any mental illnesses right there no I, i'm okay i'm just like waiting for the moment of like getting out of this and like um start healing people um last trip i, I did uh the mushrooms and it was like crazy how my soul told me uh all the stuff that i've been like doing to you know uh to be myself, take care of me, um, and like I really been going through a spiritual path um, and being on the solitary like for all this month and like I just it's want to. It's been know, hard. Okay. Go um, on that journey. Well, you know, I'm gonna tell you another thing. Um, so, so when. Okay, when it comes to your dad, he's not, I would say he's not a, here. Like, does that make sense to you? He's yeah, like, yeah. he's, he's, up, he's good. He's all the way over there, over there. So a lot of times when spirit talks, it's because they're very close to us. And mm -hmm. sometimes that's not a good thing, right? Which is like, not, it's not a bad thing, but it also means that they're not too far away as opposed to your dad feeling he's very far off into the, he's good is what i'm trying yeah. to say he's happy yeah, he's, he's good, good. He's good. yeah good. he's a good soul you see what i'm saying to you yes. not that i'm saying the ones that are talking are bad souls because there's no such thing but it just feels like he's free do you feel what i'm saying to you yes. like freedom okay uh i'm hearing aries as well scorpio scorpio's coming up i'm hearing june 29th july 27th okay guys if we're coming in for everybody else let's just go ahead 
All right, I'm just gonna say what I'm hearing there. Okay. All right. So whoever is that's resonating with in the in the live, just so you know, spirit's coming through for you too. Okay. All right. So Frederico, I do feel like though that you are not like as bad as you think it is. Like you're very like you know, uh, you are a healer already. Like you. Oh, this I is, know. feels. I must feel like I'm giving myself a reading. Like, boy, you don't need no reading. You're good. You know what I'm saying? Like, that's how I feel. And I mean to say that in the kindest way possible, where sometimes I'm like, I want a reading. And spirit's like, do you want a reading really, though? Because, like, I already know my path. I know what, what I'm doing. You see what I'm saying? It's not, not, not I know what I'm doing. That sounds so horrible. But, like, I know my direction, and nobody can really guide me because I have my inner voice and my guidance, okay? Okay, so... I, if that is a good confirmation for you, that in itself being a confirmation that you are on the right path and that you are making the decision, like the job and all that, it is time to leave it. Because, yeah. but I want to say though, don't don't do nothing until you start something else. You hear what I'm saying to you? Because like you don't want to end up I'm here and broke, like not have no money and shit. Because a person like you is not gonna be able to deal with that. You're not gonna be able to feel good if you don't have the money yeah. to do what you need to do. And also, if you are helping people and healing them, start charging them okay. so i know mm -hmm. that you're going around helping people somehow or another either friends or something like that i would strongly suggest like if you have a space to work out of get a little area in your house this is my point to you okay start to get like hey i do energy healing which you, because you're very good at reiki i don't know if you know you're very good at like healing with your hands and reiki do you know that you're good at that uh not i wasn't sure but uh yeah I'm no no you are <laughs> No, no, you are. You need to know that because that's this is where we spirit. This is why I I went into this reading thinking I'm gonna talk about spirit that passed on. I'm getting hit in my right side right now, but I'm not. I'm more talking to you about like your purpose and your path, right? Okay. So, because a lot of people come to me because they want to connect to someone in the spirit world. That's not what you came here for. You're more about your purpose and what do I need to be doing? Yes, right my now? purpose. Am I right? But you are on the right path. I'm, and I mean this with all my heart. You are on the right path. Okay. And. Whatever you're being guided to right now, oh God, my right eye is hitting, they're hitting my right eye so hard. Whatever you're wanting to do, the only thing Spirit wants you to do is just see it as a good thing because if you're going, I need to leave this job, I need to do that, you're thinking like, oh God, what am I going to do? I need to, but Spirit wants you to think in terms of like, they're ready for yeah, me. Yeah. They're ready for, I'm ready to go, move on to, the, why am I sitting here, exactly, believing in yourself, why am I sitting here telling myself, that I need to be at this job. That's just a matrix talk. That's yes. gonna keep trying to keep you sucked in there, yes. right? And you are way mm -hmm. more powerful than that. Way more powerful than that. Let me pull a couple of cards. When I get the job thing because I, like, I have been. Lisa, you're breaking up. You're breaking up. You're breaking up. I always feel like. Put that back on. Can you hear me? Okay, hold on. Yeah, I hear you. I always feel like I'm. I can hear. Oh, okay. Um or losing my job and I'm always like looking for a new job and I've always been like you know finally I have a job now that like I get paid like the last employer never paid yes. us yeah so like so I totally understand that like I, it's like you have to make sure that you have like something else before exactly. you start something else that's what I always like, do I would I never start like, something without having I didn't happen. finally leave the other job until I knew that this job was secure does that make yes. sense yes yep wow Frederico okay Okay, uh, uh, I'm getting like pain, like, I don't know if you go through like pain in the nostrils, the area, yes. I'm getting like, I just want like that spirit to show me yeah, how to do that. I try to do breath work. Yeah, do, yeah, also do the do this with eucalyptus okay. oil while breathing into okay. it, it'll help you with me. Okay, it says straight up, you're too good for them. Let me be clear, they are not shit, move the fuck on. And I think that's talking about what you know it is, your yes. job, whatever it is. And it says, I'm sorry, but it's a big fat no yeah. when it comes to that. Because you're thinking, should I stay, should I go? Yeah. Another thing, I don't know if you see birds a lot, blue jays, cardinals, or you get visitation yeah. from spirit animals, birds and stuff like that, especially yes. pay attention to it because that's your dad. He just said, I visit wow. you often, wow. okay? Wow. I visit you often. That's that's just gave me the Do you chill. get them? Do you really get them? Like, you really see them a lot? Because I'm, yes. I'm yeah. seeing that they come randomly yeah. to you, okay? That's All awesome. Right. Mm -hmm. There we go. Yeah, it is awesome. And one more thing. One more thing. So I want to confirm for you everything that you're feeling. I'm going to say this, Rodrigo. You are on a path to... I, I actually thought when you got on here, I was confused. I thought you were some like healer from like another country that you already were a healer. That's how I felt about you. That means that's how they see you. you. You see what I'm saying to you? I know. Yes. 
I'm from Argentina. Okay, where do you Argentina. live now? Are you yeah. here in the States or are you there now? Uh, yeah, no, I'm in the States. Okay. Yeah, I've been here okay. for 20, 26 years. Okay. Where in the States are you? I just, I'm just curious. Uh, Florida. Yeah, Florida. Florida. Okay. Ah, I threw you so many. Okay. Again, you get in again. Crows and ravens. We are of the underworld, bringing messages from powerful beings right to you. Pay, pay close attention. You have a lot of spirit animal guides yeah. around you. Okay. You're getting ready for a whole new way of life. Get the, the chills. Yeah. <laughs> I don't. <laughs> this says stop letting your mother make you feel like shit. Forgive her. She. Forgive her. She never had the love, and she needs healing. Please forgive her. I know. I know. I. Uh, my sister is in New Jersey, New Jersey, and another one is here, but you know, we're all married. Um, so I'm the one that you know took care of daddy, and now I'm with mom, and she kind of <laughs> motherfucker. Yeah, doesn't understand what I'm going through, and I try to you know explain to her, you know, um, and you know I know that soon she she'll. Be proud of me. Understand me all. She's gonna be proud of you, but but let's do this. Let's let's chuckle. And then it says, take your position. Your crown is being put on your head. Okay. Okay. Again, you're not. Yes. You're on a, yeah. you're on another yeah. level, another wavelength. So stop yeah. stressing and worrying about yeah. that stuff. So if spirits guiding you out of one story. It's because you're ready for the next one. Oftentimes when they're guiding me, I'm resisting. I don't yeah. know. I don't know. I don't know. But I I once I let go and I go. Okay. Yeah. What's so, watching one? Of your videos um that it says uh I stop like giving because i mean like like mm -hmm. i think all my life like putting everybody you know on top of me and i, I was not ever you know that person you know to be we have to stop man us light workers are yeah. being used we're being used we're being yes. abused we're being yeah. yeah and 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 i'm gonna tell you even even our parents man i love them so much but yeah. you know what? They need to grow some fucking, yeah. take those pampers off because I'm tired of changing your diapers for you. Yes. We are tired, okay? Yes. So you have to understand something. Um, this is the moment and the time where your guys want you to focus on, this is where you're at now. Focus on you. Don't worry about them, yes. him, the, the. Yeah. Focus on you. I really want, let it go. It says, seriously, yeah. now, let it let, go. Seriously. Let it go. Yeah. So if those messages are coming, something, okay, one more thing. One more thing, I'm gonna, we're going to move on to somebody else. Something sacred is coming back to you. It's been lost for a second, for a long time, but it's coming back to you. Something sacred is coming back to you, which is why you're having these, um, don't question it, whatever it is that you, follow it. You know, I go like this with my guys. Okay, I'm going to follow whatever, you, wherever you guys are taking me, I'm going to follow it. I'm not going to question it. And then I do that and it leads me to the most wonderful places even if those places are the shittiest darkest places i'm always like fuck why am i here but then i get out of it and i'm like wow that's crazy yeah. okay Federico, you are gonna be a future healer i see you walking Thank up you. into your i see you walking into a place literally i'm not getting with your beard a little longer yeah. you have some kind of flowy clothing yeah. on and you're walking into something and people yeah. are coming to you going namaste yeah. namaste and all that yeah. shit so you're gonna be I doing know. that all right yeah. so I don't know. question it stop questioning yeah. it no question. Thank, All right, thank you. All right, thank you very much. You're welcome. Okay, thank you, you for being here. Bye. I love you too. Bye. Stay connected with us. Thank Stay you connected with us. Bye, Annie. Okay. Bye, bye. Bye, bye. I, 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 I don't know. Yeah, he has. I think they have to cut, out. shut off the live and then. Completely out. I think. Okay. Yeah. Which you just go back. Come back that, in if you want. Um, it does. Does this a lot? Instagram. Um, guys, we are at the number six six right there, and you just he just left the live at six six. So I want to hear that. That's a death and a rebirth he's going through right there. So when you see like the number and six, six, it's a death like, and rebirth. And I feel bad like you were saying stuff and I'm like, okay, what the hell? Like, no. And I'm in my head going, whoever is coming in for me, can you not do it right now? Yeah, because you know what it is? They, um, you, they notice that when spirit knows that um, someone's on a journey, a lot of times, especially if it's someone like Frederico, let's say, right? If he's still in the room. Um, if it's someone like Frederico and he knows his path, he's just questioning it. Spirit will be like, they just need to follow their path. Stop telling the question. And then spirit, like, again, we're, when we're doing mediumship and healing work, it's two different worlds. Like for one of them focuses on who died, why they die, what's the, what's the message from, from dad, from mom. The other one is all about you and your ascension. You see what I'm saying? Right. Right? So, okay, let's see here. Let me see here. Do you have the request to join? No. So, I don't know. 
in here. I mean, I can read off the names in here, and then you can tell me. So I have. I can see them. I can see them from here. Let me. I'm just looking real quick. See it in the little box. Yeah. How about? Why don't we do this? Why don't we do this instead of putting picking people to come to live? Why don't I just answer a few questions? Okay, fabulous. So that if um, they can ask something, I can just give them an answer to it. So okay, it's crazy how the, his message resonates with me, and that's how spirit works. They come together as a collective, and they'll give messages. So what we're gonna do here is I'm gonna pull my cards out here. Well, actually, let's go with these cards. Let's go with these cards. So we're going to pull these out, and what, I'm going to give everybody a chance to ask one question so that this way I'm not focused on one person for a long time. Uh, and we'll just pull a card or two for you guys. Um, uh, also, so you guys, I have classes coming up on, on the 28th. Oh, yes, my talk class, about all the stuff that you're doing. Yeah, my class is coming up on the 28th, and um, uh, I'm going to be having that Healing with Flow show, so you guys can tune into that, and you can be guests on that show. And if you have an issue with a family member or something, or your life, or you want to just know generally, like, hey, Flo, I need an answer to this, you'll be able to come on as a guest. And then my classes are on the 28th on Tuesday at 7, at 6.30 p.m. And they will be, um, they're only $44, okay? So you get in that, and then every class after that is $25. So the first class is a little more because it goes a little longer. So you guys can join that, and um, you'll see. I'll post on my Instagram, my story, and my thing, so you can see how to, how to join it, okay? Um, okay, so... So loved 111 ask, I'll just start going down. The road. Um, am I moving in the right? Where did it go? Am I moving in the right direction in my life? To be honest with you, I really don't need the cards to do readings, but I'll just use you don't them. Have just to, to, you know. them. Yeah, I'll use them a little bit, but not too much because I, I, I just like to go with my intuition. Okay. Am I moving in the right direction with my life, right? Okay, let's try to be more, more, more like, in, on, like a real question, like you know, like, like what's her name? Ask. Am I moving? The reason why I'm saying that is because what do you think is gonna happen? Spirit is just saying to, they they want to say a hundred things about that. Yes, you're moving in the right direction, but this and that, and you need to focus on this and then work on that, and blah, 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 and you are moving in the right direction as far as listening to your inner guidance and your intuition. However, there are certain things that Spirit wants you to know you know that are not good for you that you're still keeping into your world. This could be a relationship, a job, a person. It could be something like that, but there's something that you're not like letting go of that's coming with you and they don't need to come with you. You know who it is. You've thought about it. You said, I shouldn't do this. And you continue to go back to this shit. And it's okay because we all do. I do it. We do it. We all do it. You know what I'm saying? So please, so just understand that the answer is yes, but there are some, in the middle of that yes, there's some, I see, you know, this is how they give me the answer. Yes, but in the middle, there's some, like, stitches there that need to be right. stitched up. You see what I'm saying to you? So maybe, um, okay, there we go. So, Albie, am I moving? Yeah, I just saw that one. I'm curious if that's uh, like, uh, that's like, No, that's I, I know why she's asking. Um, she's... I, I keep hearing something about the in-laws getting in the way of her moving and stuff like that when she's supposed to be up, have a ready moon, but it's like uh, she's getting two different responses. Her The husband's saying yes, the in-laws telling him no, and they're, it's a mix-up. That's what I'm hearing. So there needs to be clear communication between everybody in the home because the move is imminent. It will happen, but it's just uh, it needs to be clear communication right now because people are getting in the way of it, okay? All right. I would like to know what my near future brings. General questions. We can't answer those. I'm going okay. to get employed or am I going to get empla employed or hired soon before the end of this year for a position at the okay. geographical location of Arizona? That? Now, that's a question. That's a question. There it is. Now I see it. Okay. Am, am I going to get employed or hired before soon. the end of this year for a position? Uh, and I, I, I love you guys. I don't want you to think, like, I'm not here to tell you the end all be all of everything because, remember, things can change overnight, right? Uh, somebody could change their mind. As of right now, Spirit's saying a little bit after 2024 starts. So, basically, we have we, – we, I just see a little past January, if that makes any sense. That's what I'm – that's how I'm seeing it, okay? All right. Well, I keep, keep having dreams that I'm pregnant. My brother, who is intuitive, I keep having dreams that I'm pregnant. 
my brain. I have dreams that I'm pregnant. Me too. Well, so pregnancy, I'm pregnant. pregnancy is a, a birth. It's a beginning of a new thing. Um, so when you're having a dream that you're pregnant, it means something is being born into your life. Like it's being, oh, think about a baby. Your dreams are simple. Just think about what's happening and what happens in real life. What happens when a baby's in your stomach? You're growing a baby. You're nurturing something. You're let. You're allowing it to grow, and it's coming into life. It's getting ready to be born, right or wrong. That's how you see it. Okay. Um. So, dog mom, forty five. She's right. Writing a book. Will it be successful? It will be successful. It will. You don't have to worry about that. You've been. This has been your destiny for a long time. It's just you just have to believe that it will work out. Manifestations. Um, Remember, guys. Everything you're manifesting. Asha, um, why do spirits keep telling me Brooklyn? Why do the spirits keep telling her Brooklyn? Yeah. I don't know. My shirt says Brooklyn. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. Um, okay, hold on one second. Um, somebody says, should I use move back to New York together with my children? Should I bring my family back together? You see how I'm doing, right, babe? Should I bring my family back to I mean, the ideal answer to that is yes, but I keep I keep feeling like you already, oh, oh, man. I don't know if this per person is really, ah, I don't want to say this. You, it's like, you know, it's something about him or the person you're going to bring the family back together with. It almost feels like this person has done this many times before. Is this like the, what is it? What is it? Why do you keep tapping me? I'm, I gotta say something. Can I, can I, I mean, I am hearing, do not go back to that guy. I don't know why. Um, so I don't know if he was, God forbid, I don't, I see abusive, could be verbally, mentally, emotionally, physically, God forbid. And all that, in all those ways, right? Is I, where is she at? Is she responding to anything I'm saying? Well, I don't. Do you understand what I'm trying to say to you, Nurse Jessica, Mom? Do you understand what I'm I trying to say to you? Does that make sense? See any other? I just I'm saw her. Seen it. It's okay. Will I be good in this new job? She will be fine in this new job. That's what I'm hearing. Struggling with Speak. moving, moving on with. Okay, struggling with moving on with a past love interest. Haven't been involved for over a year. Afraid this connection is keeping me away from finding a true long-term commitment. Your intuition has been, yeah. going, girl, move the fuck yeah, on. He's not eating it. He's not going to be it. Yeah. <clears throat> I'm telling you. I know, Lisa, you're very psychic yeah, yourself. Like, that's why you want to do this kind of like, work. Oh, you want to know what's no. funny, Lisa? What's funny, Lisa, is when, the, when I was talking about the girl and then moving on with her family, Instantly, I saw your face and went like this, and I saw no, like you were like, and I was like, no, because you're very psychic. You know, you rem you definitely remind me of Bette Midler from Hocus Pocus so much, so it's well, insane. It's, Bette Midler well, like, and you. I'm not always like for, like right now, like when you talk about work, like I am looking for a new job because right now I'm being treated like crap, and that is my big fear. Like, you know, that if I get fired, I'd be freaked out. No, I don't think I'm going to get fired but i do hope i find a new job soon yeah um, you will but oh i don't think you're gonna get fired either why would you you're a great worker like you do everything do. the way you're supposed to you're but everybody loves you like there was well i thought some people loved me until something crazy happened but after the live i'll tell you what happened um, okay okay but like i keep looking for all these new jobs and like one of my friends who i is intuitive is like you're not leaving there anytime soon like that's yeah. why you're not getting any of these you're, I'm you're, I'm sending out resumes, and she literally said, "Stop sending out resumes and focus on your stuff." Yeah, because I think that you're doing great there. That's what I'm trying to tell you. I think maybe there's been some other things that have gotten in a way that have irritated you, and you've been like, "I want to get the fuck out of here." But if you could block all those, um, first of all, don't forget you you are in tune with spirit, highly in tune with spirit. Actually, another thing, Lisa, I want to tell you before I started the live, the first thing spirit told me was. You really do have to block out some negative thoughts oh, and entities from your life because they do try to lie to you a lot. Oh. So you got to tell them, oh, yes. shh, quiet, because they really do be trying to fuck with your energy. Yep. And they're not, no. they're not little bitty. But they know, they, they see you as, my head. don't forget also, although you're working with a bunch of different psychics. Don't forget who they work with a bunch of different spirits. That's so. why I was saying I always have to come home and I have to take a salt shower and I have to 
backstage and I have to I have to always have like that's right be patient Lisa be patient with something but um I don't know what's going on my live is frozen on my end so I don't you're know. not frozen on my end um, <coughs> are the comments moving on oh my end? god yes so let's see um okay. let's a let's answer two more questions because okay. it's almost eight okay, yeah because yeah I'm, I'm tired too yes I'm getting uh, tired and I'm hungry I gotta eat um, yeah I gotta go to stuff I have to ask if you should move in with your girlfriend, then the answer is no. Okay, so no, no. So, yeah, what is he asking? Oh, no, no, but you're right. You're right, though. You're right. To if you me, have to ask if it. You have to ask a question ask, like that. Yeah. You really should not move in with somebody that you're not sure of, period. Because if you're not like, yo, I want, can't wait to move in right. with this girl. Right. And another thing, I'm hearing using, using, somebody's using somebody. I don't know. That's what I'm hearing. And I'm going to say what I hear because that's the way it goes, okay? Somebody's mom wants you to know. That this person's using you and you should stay away from them, okay? That's what I'm hearing, okay? Um, what else do you see? Another question? Any questions? I have there? There's a lot of questions. Or do you have a spirit that wants to come through and you want to just say some stuff and see who it resonates with? Sure. Yeah, I'll do that. Okay, so I'm getting instantly hit in the heart chakra here. So there's something, um, some of you need to be patient with something and it has to do it as it's connected to the heart. This means could be like a, a love situation or you're waiting for some, some love to come in or something like that. And um, Spirit wants you to know that you're not going to be alone forever and stop talking like that because that sounds stupid to us altogether because we already... I, I'm getting, oh, this is a weird thing. I get, I have a taste of soap in my mouth. I don't know what that means. You could either be like lacking from some vitamin or something like that. This is for somebody out there. You're getting a funny metal soap taste in your mouth. I don't know who that's for, but that's a message. See, and right I want to see, okay, this nurse, Jessica, my heart is pounding out of my chest. Why? Uh, I don't know. What did she say? She just said my heart is pounding out of my chest. Okay. Yeah, because I answered. Remember what I said to her? I said about the guy and... That he, you know, Debbie could have been some... spraying Lysol all over her house. Lysol. <laughs> yeah, well, that works. Spirit doesn't like vinegar. Your floor is clean with vinegar. Negative energy. Um, and they don't like clean spaces, which is why I try to keep my room mostly clean, but it just got messy again <laughs> from before the live. Okay, let's go. Let's, let's, let me get these messages here. Okay, so let's go. All right, so uh, the signs that are coming up right now are Aquarius, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. Aquarius again. Aquarius again. Wow. She's weird. Wow. Aquarius, Cancer, Scorpio, excuse me, Pisces, and Aries, Leo, Sag, and Libra, and Gemini, and Aquarius. These, these signs are coming up right here. So there's a new beginning and a wish fulfillment, and you have to look towards the wish fulfillment. Whoever you are, this is a collective message. It's like you're looking away from your wish fulfillment. It's like spirits trying to tell you, like, you have everything you need and you're being guided, but you're not accepting the cup. The cup, meaning that whatever you're wanting, it keeps, you keep pushing it away. When, look at this guy. He's getting some uh, gift from the universe and look how he's sitting. I don't want it. It's like, take the fucking cup, bro. Take the fucking cup. We're giving it to you. Take it. Um, some of you are clearing, there could be a Capricorn energy involved here. Some of you are clearing some real toxic ass energy out of your life. You're really clearing it. And it's, it's really hard because you're getting spiritual attacks. I'm hearing, I'm hearing that. Okay. That some of you are really feeling attacked by people, by spirit. You're going through a dark night of the soul. Some of you, you really are. It's, and you'll know this because you can sense, you can feel like there's like, I know that I go through that. Um, I've gone through it many times and I might even be going through it right now. I'm not sure. But all I know is that um, I am aware of it and you have to be aware of it. So if you feel like right now, you're like, yo, I know what she's talking about. Like she's talking about when, like what's going on with me right now. It's like you, you know, getting over heartache, heartbreak, clearing and ending that shit. Like if there was someone, especially here with Aquarius, Libra, Gemini, Aries, Leo, Sag that you were dealing with or Capricorn and they were, you know, not the best to you and stuff like that <clears throat> could be your energy too. You are knowing that there's something that needs to change with that. And Spirit wants you to know you're going through a very, yes, use your intuition, you guys. Use, <clears throat> use your intuition. You know, I'm going to tell you right now, you have to rely on your own intuition a lot in order to become really good at it, okay? In order for you to really be able to be really good at using your intuition, you have to use it every day. And that means 
take general, that's why I stopped doing mostly readings and now I do like those short videos and like motivational, you know, channeling and stuff like that. Because right. with readings, I always felt like I was enabling people to like get stuck in the, what's going to happen to me energy. But channeling, I'm getting messages that are already taking place somewhere in, in the future, but I'm just bringing it to you right now. So it's like, you're getting that message. So it's not a question of, is this message for me or not? If you ran into it, it's for you. Do you understand what I'm saying to you? So Spirit wants you to start using your intuition more because you are very gifted. If you're here with us, even now, or at all, you can watch my channel, or you hang out with Lisa, you watch out on her shit. You are already gifted. You, we already know. I showed you all the psychic I and love the that healer and the astral. So yeah, it is. It's really a very great way to guide people on, on what they can do with their lifetime here. Because your purpose is not one thing. You can have purposes okay but um people always are so concerned about what's my purpose what am i here for what do you, what you think about doing every single day if you think about singing every single day and you can't stop thinking about it then you're a singer if you think about writing every day if you think like i do i think about one day opening my own spiritual healing retreat having a bunch of people there and we're all just like woo, chilling like and it's amazing and we're able to help heal the collective children we're well, we're gonna enlighten the teenagers and help them become more healers and instead of hateful angry sons of bitches you know what i'm saying so those are all things you can know is by what you think of and who was i in a past life if you want to know who are you in the past life what's your favorite movies what do you like do you like ninjas the best i get the queens are you when you say that yeah are you into like queens are you into ninjas or whatever it is that's what you were and there's no oh, question no, oh, I, I had know. to have been famous in past lives. I want it to yeah. bad in this life. And that's why, like, I created yep. my own platforms. Like, that right. is exactly. Exactly. I was an assassin, uh, uh, yeah. uh, an assassin in several lifetimes. Yes. And I actually had dreams about it where I was like, uh, jumping from the top of a, a building, jumping down and shooting someone. Like, I was in a, a real life John Wick assassin. That movie. I forget the yeah. movie. Bridget Fonda. John, was that who was Yeah. I, I think so. I don't know. I don't know. I'm not sure what movie you're talking about, but I don't know. what is it? Um, um, uh, so, so I'm going to tell you guys, so whatever you think about a lot, a lot, a lot, that's what, that's who you are and that's who you are and that's who you're going to be. So stop questioning your intuition. Stop doubting yourself. Oh, I don't know. I need somebody else to tell me who I am. I know it's hard because sometimes I do too. I need to watch reading sometimes too, just to get guidance, general guidance. But deep down in my heart, I know, I know and who and what I am. I know I'm a healer. I know that my spirit will guide me towards exactly what I need to be doing. I know that my guides will guide me. I know that I have a lot of protection and a lot of backup in the spirit world, which is why I've never had issues. Even when the darkness comes or, 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 barking in my ear, I'm like, yeah, I know, but hi, spirit guides, love you. You see what I'm saying? So when you start to make one thing more important than another, that thing's gonna become more important. So now if like, you're gonna start saying negative things are gonna happen to me, bad things are happening to me, guess what? That's what will happen to you. Just like when you say, I'm gonna go to hell when I die because I'm bad, that's where you're gonna go. Unless you say like, I'm, sure I'm going home when I die. When I die, I'm going home. I'm gonna be like, hey, I'm home, bitches. You know what I mean? And wherever that home is to you, wherever home is to you, that's where you'll go because you believe that's where you belong. Right? I agree. Okay, well, guys. You're amazing. I love you. No, you me. guys are all amazing. We're going to have you guys. to do this again. Hopefully it's we not will. two hours. Uh, oh. But um, have a wonderful week. Stay you safe. Too. Everybody, I hope everybody had so a good time. Joining. Thank you for joining. We love I'm, you. I'm going to save the live. It will be on my feed. Um, and save it. And I need you to send yeah, me the live as well. No, I don't I'm going to call you after. Because I'm going to post it on my, on, my, on my page. Gonna, too. Yeah, and then I'll call you in about 20 minutes. Okay. okay, I'll post it on my YouTube too so people can get some information. Okay, okay. I love you guys. Thank, Thank you for you joining. Everyone. Thank you. See you later. Bye, guys.